like she would get tired of food. Like she would have Wait, like hanker. Your girl's name is Sapphire. Yeah. Like, oh my god, like, that's so it's, sick. It's a, it's, a, what? it's a stripper name, bro. Like I told her, like, <laughs> I told her that. Like she, like okay, like legit when we met. Like I told her, like she, like I just like, bro, I was like legit. Like when I met her, like I was just like I was just like, what's your name? And like Sapphire. I'm like. Evan just responded. <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> you know, right. you think he works for NASA, but he doesn't really like. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I don't know because like he's lifting more than like I've I've, I've seen him post pictures in the gym way more than NASA. In fact, I have I don't think there's any pictures in NASA, and I think well, that's because he can't. He didn't start really like working at NASA. Like I still don't think he's consistently working at NASA. I still think he's like consistently working at home. Ah, uh, right, 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 yep. right. Yeah, yep, that's yep. right. We're in a pandemic. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a disease going on. That yeah, kills people right now. <laughs> yeah, that's just no. Yeah, he, uh, he's nuts, and like he started getting on this wave of like getting up really early every morning, going to the gym, oh, yeah. going and working, completing his work. He's nuts. Like, he, he, uh, I think school like really just like kept him busy, but yeah. now that he's not doing school, like he just gets his work done, works out, reads, meditates, takes care of. Yeah, he's been posting that meditating stuff a lot, like. I think about it, but, like, I think I'm too scared of silence for me to actually, like, meditate. Dude, meditation is awesome. Yeah. And you don't need complete silence. Um, I would recommend Headspace. And since you're a student, you can get it for $10 a year. I'll check it. Yeah. I'll check it. It's super. I, I pay for that. I, I was the one who put them on meditation because I've been meditating for, like, a couple years. And it's one of those things, like, you have to, like, really do it to, like, you have to do it consistently and like be sitting there like what the hell is this doing for me yeah and then eventually like you kind of get like i don't know how to explain it but it's not no, 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 that, that makes sense yeah like i remember i would do it and i'd just be like so i like my brain would just go everywhere i would just like not think about the meditation and then like all of a sudden 10 minutes is done yeah. it's kind of something that like slowly you're like you figure it out and figure out how to do it i should get on that because like my head is just so it's like a cluttered desk right now like i mean like, <laughs> even like with covid like it's just you would think that you would be able to, like, be more at peace because you're at home. Yeah. But it's just, like, the complete opposite. Like, without my routine, I am just useless. Like, yeah. It's, I would literally, like, stare at the wall and just be like, I have things to do. I'm not going to do them. Like, just, par <laughs> just paralyzed yeah. by the fact that, like, I am at home right now and, like, I have no structure. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? I think I'm an introvert, though. Introvert? Really? I think, yeah, because, like, I think, like, most of us are the, like, create content, like, even, like, I was reading this thing on PewDiePie. He's, like, a crippling introvert. Introvert, yeah. yeah. like, when he would go to VidCon and things like that, like, he would just get overwhelmed. And I was just like, you know, that's me. Like, I could do, like, the like big groups of people, entertain them for a bit of time, and then I have to retreat because I would just, like, shut down. My social battery would be gone. <laughs> like, it's just, like, I can't take that much of people. So, like, I would go to practice, like, engage with people, and be like, oh, you know, social butterfly. And they don't realize that, like, I just... I just need to get out of there. Like, I got, like, yeah. two hours in me. And then I'm out. Like, I can't take it anymore. That's so funny. I was just thinking, because, like, for me, I, like, I don't know. I feel like the stir-crazy thing, people who were introverts were like, oh, I'm already used to this kind of thing. <laughs> like, oh, this is fine. Now I now I have an excuse to stay in my room all the time. I actually but, love that, yeah. Yeah, I do yeah, like yeah. that part. I like the part about contact, like, contactless delivery, because... Now people don't see how fat I am. Like the, de like the delivery <laughs> driver. Up, like, dude, you're no, fucking No, but for real, bro, I gained like at least 30 in quarantine. But really? Like, bro, like for real, like, because when we did, like even, like I've looked back at my videos and I cry because like, I look back at my videos and just like, damn, look at my face gains. Like, like oh. I can like see like my face changing over time because like I would literally, if I'm not doing something, I'm eating, bro. Like if I'm home, I'm going to be eating. So like that whole quarantine period where I couldn't work out, Nah, bro, I was eating. But, like, with contactless, contactless delivery, contactless <laughs> delivery, it, like, allows me to be fat. Like, I can order whatever food I want, but I don't have the consequence of the delivery person, like, seeing me and judging me because they see, like, hey, this is, like, the third time in two days that you've ordered insomnia cookies. Like, they don't have to see it. Like, they don't see me. Like, they just leave it at my door. I pick it up, and I'm like, okay, great. This is great. I could... I could Get delivery. I could get insomnia cookies in my underwear. And that is just, uh, like, it's, like, something that I've always wanted to do, but just could not do it. And 
COVID has afforded me that. So yeah, there's something yeah. good about COVID. It's funny. I never did like delivery food. Like I never yeah. did like uh, Uber Eats or uh, DoorDash or anything like that until good. quarantine. Like, and even then, it was only I would only do Chipotle. Like. It's so dangerous that you can literally get any food delivered to you. And so, like, for me, I'm like, Chipotle is, the way I order is, like, relatively healthy. So, like, I- I'm okay with stuff, that. Yeah. But even then, bro, like, to drop it on delivery, it's, like, 20 bucks. And I just can't justify doing that all the time. Fox. But, like, every, Fox. you know, when I was, when we were quarantined and I was like, all right, I guess we're supposed to stay here, you know? Like, yeah. I might as well just get someone to deliver it and it puts a little bit more money in the economy for like, <laughs> you're like dude, people who got Things screwed over. Crashing, yeah. So many people got screwed over on internships uh, and then had it, my little sister was supposed to do a bunch of cool shit this summer and yeah. then got screwed over. So she just started door dashing and making like 500 bucks a week. Just, yeah. I mean, 500 bucks. She's going to get hit with a, a, a 1099 oh, yeah, later. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, but like, I was like, bro, I know what you bro, feel. But yeah. Like you feel so dope with like 500 bucks just being like, boop in your account but then i was like dude they're gonna hit you with that fat 1099 you just want to make sure you put enough away where you can pay the taxes on it because it's usually not that much yeah it shouldn't be that bad but no. like i didn't realize how lucrative doordash would be right about now but it makes po- like it makes perfect sense though so. oh yeah like, they need to get food i would be like chipotle is like a walk's distance from <laughs> me. so that would be like the fattest thing that i can do is order someone order something from Chipotle. In fact, if, like, the Chipotle delivery driver curses me out, like, when I open up the door, it's totally... Like, yeah. Totally <laughs> because, like, I mean, it's literally a walk away. So I get Chipotle almost... They know me by name. They know <laughs> me by name and order. Like, they're like, the ah, you, the like, usual? double steak. Yeah, yeah. double steak. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm like, I need to stop eating here. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, Chipotle, honestly, love that. Love their food. It's healthy. Everything about Chipotle is just... It's healthy stuff. Like, if you get, like, a bowl and, like... Even the guac is healthy, dog. That's healthy fats. Do you get sick of, like, the same food over and over again? or? Because, okay, so for me, I could eat, like, I, I shit you not. I could eat Chipotle for days. I could literally, if, if you were, like, um, if, if we had to eat Chipotle every single day for the next, like, three months, I could do it. I, I, don't I know think why. I could do it too, dog. And I, I think I have been doing it because that's, like, literally my girl... I'd be like, what do you want? Like, I get, I fast, like, for about, like, almost 20 hours a day. So, like, <laughs> a lot of my time, not what I spend fasting, I talk about the food tomorrow. Mm. And, like, so, like, oh, I'm going to sleep. I'm like, babe, what do you want tomorrow? And then, like, she's just like, I don't know Chipotle. And, like, I just, like, tell her, like, I cut out Chipotle. Chipotle. And yeah, it's, yeah. like, every day. <laughs> and then, like, she's just like, what is wrong with you? Like, do you know that you're giving Chipotle? Like, you bankroll Chipotle. And I'm all like, that's true. Like, that's, that probably is true. Like, if I stop putting my money into Chipotle... I believe that there's going to be a deficit, like a noticeable deficit in their quota on a weekly basis. That's how much Chipotle I eat, like almost five <laughs> times a week. And I can do that pretty consistently. Oh, yeah. um, like some people can't, like Sapphire, like she would, like she would get tired of food. Like she would have Wait, a hanker. Your girl's name is Sapphire? Yeah. Like the oh my God. Like, that's it's, so it's sick. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stripper name, bro. Like I told her, <laughs> I told her that like she, like, okay, like legit when we met, like I told her like, she's like, I just like, I was like legit like when I met her like I was just like I was just like what's your name? And like Sapphire. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm, just like I'm just like I'm like no for real. What's your name? And then like she's just like Sapphire. I'm like with one P and I was like oh, okay it's just one P in there. I say okay now it makes sense. So it's not Sapphire. So it's not that bad because it just has one P in it. If it had two P's in it then like I think I think a stripper joke would be warranted. And every time, like, when I tell people my girlfriend's name, they were like, oh, like... I think it's cool. I didn't... I wouldn't have thought, like, stripper name right away. Oh, like, man. I, Chris, any any crystal, diamond, um... Candy. Like, oh, I mean, like, <laughs> anybody named... Legit, like, anybody named after a diamond or a gem or a liquor is probably, you know, like, the their country. parents... Their parents had plans for them. <laughs> like, like, when naming. Like, they were just like, listen, we know. We know, like, I'm just looking at it. We know. It's probably going to be a stripper. What about name. Ruby? I love the name Ruby. But that's an old name, and all I can think about is Max and Ruby from Nickelodeon now. You don't know that oh, one. No, I do know that one, Ma- but Max now you just ruined the name for me. <laughs> you asshole. I love that name. <laughs> I, used to, I used to watch that before, and then, like, any time... I've never met a Ruby, though. I've oh, never really? read a movie, like a Ruby, no, because, like, it's just an old girl name. I have met a Karen recently, and that's... I and that sucks. I have met a Karen in a while. 
long time. Well, yeah, can now, you imagine being named Karen right now? Like, and I've met one, and it's like old woman. She's super sweet, and like, like we were doing like an interview for my my RA position at the university because I had to renew it again, and then she's just like, oh yeah. oh yeah, my name is Karen. I'm like, but I'm not like the other Karens. I'm like, I'm, well, I'm glad you said it, <laughs> not me. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro, I, that was one thing. I was like, when I named my kid, like my name's Ben. It's just like. That's a pretty ben. cool name. It's it's pretty it's regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I want I want I want to add some spice to my kids' names. Just like Ben, ben J. Like <laughs> even like Benji. I wish I would have like I wish someone would have called me Benji when I was little because like even that's kind of like sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is, like, but like I mean, it could be a little it could be a little juvenile after a while. Like with Ben, at least you could go with Big Ben. Then you could maybe go with Benji, but like you could go to Big Ben. I, I mean, I like all my fraternity brothers call me Sarby. Yeah, the, Sar- the Sarby And also, like, sense. with my YouTube channel, like, that's what I went by. And, like, that was kind of nice, too, like, having that, like, having that, like, yeah, that name, name or whatever. Cause, just because it's, like, nobody can... There's, there's nothing worse than being named Peter and being black. Okay, I'm like, like, wait, like, you, have to, you have to clarify. And really quick, can you introduce yourself? Because we literally no, we just started talking. Yeah, we, we didn't do that. Going. Okay, um... Screw Evan, bro. Right. The reason why, Evan, if you're listening to this right now, you are the I worst human is. being. <laughs> oh, we just switched... We started on Evan, and now we're back to him. Yeah. Just, okay, um, Rans for James, but that's just two of the seven names that I have. Um, <laughs> like, seven names in total. Can you say them all? <sighs> Here it is, my Yo, gov- Here's my government. W. Peter Ransford James. That's where that comes from. That's the middle names. DeVoe Isaacs Jr. That is my full name. Oh. That's what I have to write on Scantrons. So, yeah. How that's do you it. write that? Cause even you can't. Mine you is... can't. Mine is... Uh, so I, Haka, like... Yeah, I, I think I have to... I don't remember, but like I couldn't fit my whole name because my whole <laughs> name is Benjamin, and my last name Starbucker is pretty long, and then my last name is or my middle name Mazaru is like decently long. Was it Aru? Mazaru. It's, Mazaru. it's Japanese. That is Mazaru. so Japanese. Well, I can't even say it right. Is the thing? It's spelled M A S A R U. So like I just say Mazaru, but I, there's like a there's almost like a roll on the 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 R that like, sounds like, 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 like a Spanish thing. It uh, no, no ha, it's not a Spanish roll. It's like a. It's an egg roll. It's, a, it's like, it's an orient. It's an orient. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Relax, bro. I couldn't help myself with that one. Like, oh my god. Yeah, no. I, it, like, no, no, no. It's it's like the, the R is almost pronounced like a D. Like Masaru. 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 Or something like that. But okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was right. That was pretty close, though. Masaru. Like, yeah, yeah. See, so you can it's say close. it a lot easier. That I can't roll my R's. When I was younger, like, when I was a baby, um, I couldn't stick out my tongue further than like this. And like that has like a bunch of Yeah, that does. <laughs> like, just, I'm gonna zoom in on me just, like, I'm gonna zoom in on me just going That's a thumbnail. On man. the video, yeah. <laughs> if you're listening to the man. audio, you just missed out on some time comedy. <laughs> but um I couldn't stick my tongue out like very far and so they had to clip like the Your tongue? Like underneath it, you know the thing that like connects like your tongue to the bottom of your mouth. The uval? No, that's not no, no, no. Underneath your tongue, underneath your oh, tongue. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. They had they like clip it off. They didn't take it off. They just had to like cut it, like just so that I, I don't remember what the. I think I would have had like maybe some speech problems if I couldn't like move my tongue very much. Um, but because of that, I can't roll my R's. Bro, that's the so most I can't, like, tragic story I've ever heard. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, they've just totally robbed you of your ability to roll an R. Well, they also robbed me from probably speaking like a, an idiot. So, like, <laughs> like, you win like, some, you like, lose some. Like, like Forrest Gump. Like, he could just, like, would be like, I have a fat tongue, dog. Like, and me thing, too, bro. Like, I sing, so, like, it's really bad. Like, one of the quick, like, the thing that, like, we worked on, like, with my vocal coach for the longest, is just really, like, losing weight in my tongue. Like, grab it. <laughs> like just like losing weight in my tongue and like because you use the blade of your tongue to speak mm-hmm. as well as sing mm-hmm. so when you involve all of this tongue the, f- the tongue is such a fat organ dude like it's all the way down there like bunched up in your throat i understand why people choke on their tongues all the time and like what i would do like i literally get a pen and like i get a pen like like this <laughs> i get a pen like this and like the first warm so we do I like you. Do, <laughs> you have to do it like you have to do. Like, is this yours? No, that's okay, great. hilarious, bro. <laughs> but no, but yeah, you have to do that. Like it's like it's like tongue th- hip thrust, like tongue thrust about that, and that makes you very more articulate. Like see, like right now, like I could, my tongue is way more buoyant because like when you just like flex your tongue. So for the you people, like, it up. the people listening to this, he like <laughs> stuck it in his mouth and like had to like bite it between it. two teeth. 
and then just flex your tongue like you're trying to touch the roof of your mouth. Do that for about like 30 seconds every morning and I guarantee you, you will sound like William Shatner. Like, yeah. and if you're a woman, hopefully you don't sound like William, William Shatner. But you will sound way more like intelligible. Oh yeah. And like it helps because you just have like a, a fat tongue. Like it, everybody has a fat tongue. So for me, um, I've always had like a fat tongue. It's never been a problem. But there was a time where um, you played sports, right? Yeah. Um, when I was playing hockey, because I'm so little, oh, I'd God, get hit no, in the no. head all the time. That's one and there was like a play. time where like I got hit in the head a couple times, and then like slowly I noticed it was like almost a little bit harder for me to talk. Does that make sense? Like I mean, that makes so that make perfect sense. No, like like, like um, I don't know if it was something that like I grew into, because this was like when I was probably like. 13, 14, like, going through yeah. puberty, so maybe, like, I don't know, that, like, didn't help either, but, like, <laughs> slowly I noticed, like, my tongue just felt bigger in my mouth, and it felt, like, more effort to, like, move it, and, like, I don't know, I've kind of just always equated it to just me just getting smashed in the head so many times. Bro, like, it could <laughs> be, bro, like, I mean, like, for, dog, hockey is one of the things that I would never do on a consistent basis, at least, oh, because it's, it's, like, the one sport that, like, you expect to fight. Like, you expect to fight at some point. So, that's, like, so, if you don't play hockey, like, you Is really only fight. You, no, well, yeah, but you only really fight in, um, you can't, you can't even fight in college league. Like, you can only fight if you're in juniors or if you're playing, like, some sort of professional. They've so made like, provisions for it, then. What? They've made provisions for it. Like, they expect you to fight. So, like, I mean, like, oh, they're yeah. all like, okay, well, we know you're going to fight, just not right now. Like, you have to fight. You have to wait until you get to, like, this level. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Well, here's the thing. It's kind of like it's just kind of the culture, right? Like, yeah, you know, it, it's just the culture of the of the sport, and I don't know. I mean, it's it's entertaining. It is. Um, but I mean, if you really think about it, like it's it's a fight, but it's 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 not as dangerous. Like, well, yeah, you're on ice. Well, that and um, just the way that they fight, like the amount of length that they have to keep with one another. Like, it's very hard to just. Like, you know, MMA, one-hit KO yeah. someone because, like, the way that they're doing it, like, if we were fighting, like, I'd be grabbed here, yeah. you'd be grabbed on here, and we kind of have this, like, push-pull here, too. So, like, if I tried to push and, like, really give you a punch or whatever, okay, you have yeah. a lot of control with this arm, too, to, like... That's why you don't see, like, nobody really gets knocked out from these fights unless it's, like... Like, usually oh, the only time okay. you see that is in, like, juniors or something, you know? That makes okay. So that the interesting part about that is like that's that's grappling. So like that was like a lot more. Oh yeah, because you're jujitsu. It's, it's like a lot more like jujitsu than I thought it was, <laughs> and like I was hoping that okay, great, you don't have like sticks involved then. No, the no, it's not like you're like. So they put like the hockey because that's what I'm thinking. Like I'm more like bro, no, like dude. they're fighting on the ice with like blades on their feet and sticks in the hand i'm like fam no you drop you drop your gloves usually i mean some people take off their helmet some people in, in the pros they'll like keep it on or whatever but um yeah it's just it's just like bare hand bare knuckle just taking shots at each other and like granted too, that like usually it's just like a couple guys getting hit in the face and like i mean just uh, hockey players in general it's always like i've always loved that i played the sport because like People hear your hockey player, they automatically like equate you to being tough, even though like I'm kind of a pussy. <laughs> like <laughs> uh, they automatically equate you to being tough because like like even in the uh, in one of the NHL games this like that's been going on lately, yeah. um, some guy blocked a, a a shot to the face was out like end of second period and then back on the ice like beginning of the third period like a puck you should have seen this dude's face bro he was wearing a full face mask but there was like a huge lump no. on the side of his face and he was like and but that's like so common in hockey culture it's just like yeah bro stitch me up hit me with some ibuprofen let's get back out there like <laughs> bro no 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 <laughs> like, like i thought mma was rough but nah that's that's some other stuff like for real like i I give it up to, like, those guys because, like, we actually talk about hockey, like, a lot, even, like, when we're rolling in jiu-jitsu. And we were saying, like, it's one of the most... It's one of the most fighting sports that isn't surrounded by fighting. You know, yeah, like, it's one of those true. sports that isn't a fighting sport, but fighting is naturalized and normalized in the sport. Well, and I'm just like, damn. If you think about, too, the one thing that I've always, like, just, like, really thought about is, like... In, in hockey, you are trained to put yourself in front of, like, 
and 100 mile per hour slap shot. Or I guess in my case, it was usually Fox, like yeah. 60, 70, whatever. Like lay down. Of a puck. Yeah, yeah. just if a, a gigantic rubber. hard piece of rubber, <laughs> bro. It's not like a soccer ball. Like, no. It's, it's well, like, soccer balls do hurt too, don't get me wrong. But like, it, like it's, to me, like blocking a soccer ball is a lot, um, like, it doesn't happen as much as, like, people block... Like, if you watch one hockey game, keep track of how many people are blocking shots. Like, and that's a normal... Like, you are expected if that d- demon who has a 100-mile-per-hour slap shot is winding that bitch up, you are expected to lay down to block that thing no, if you can. Dude. And it's just, like... No. and But I've, like, lived that. Like, just, like, oh, no second thought, just lay down. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Or, or put, like... Dude, like, you, like you, you like put your like knee down like this so like really theoretically you have pads here yeah you kind of have pads here but when you do this you expose yourself to everything so if you get hit in the back there's no padding here there's no padding here there's like yeah like it, bro getting just, a puck to the nuts is like <laughs> that's like a n- right there like that happened be, to me i'll be no i'll be suing <laughs> i'd be like legit suing someone like someone has to get sued for my unborn seed like there's there's absolutely no i mean if you're wearing a cup it's not it's not super bad, like, Damn. but that, ha- I was, uh, it was my, I think my, that must have been my freshman year, when I was, pl- I played here on the, on the Iowa State club team, oh, for a sweet. little bit, um, and, Those uh, guys go hard. oh yeah, well, yeah. like, they, they won a face off, and I was the wing guy, so I was going up to, like, you know, pressure him or whatever, yeah. and saw he was winding up and just kind of put my, like, leg down, just straight puck to the nuts, oh, I was wearing a cup, so it was fine, but, like, oh. still, like, even with a cup, like, a, a, a hard shot is still gonna push you out for the count. I remember, bro. That was just like the most pain. I've been in. I I've been in pain before. That was like pain, pain. <laughs> no, nah, like I mean, like it couldn't have been like legit. Even we don't even get hurt that much. Like when people say, "Oh, you do MMA. Oh, you do jujitsu." Like they're like, we don't even get hurt that much. Like legit. Like I like this back like problem that I'm having right now. That's from deadlifting. I've never been hurt in fighting like at all. So, like, a lot of the guys that actually get hurt, like, they get hurt outside of fighting. Like, mm-hmm. they, like, sleep wrong, and then they wake up with their back all messed up. <laughs> like, one of the guys, like, legit, like, said he was reaching to go and get, like, a bear out of the fridge, and he turned too quickly, and he blew out his knee. Like, that's, like, that's the type of stuff that we're scared about. Like, because you normally get hurt when you're cold, but, like, when you're, f- like, when you're hot and warm, when, when you're, you're fighting, up, yeah. yeah, you don't get hurt that much. So, many guys don't get hurt. So, I've not been in that much pain, like, what? Not much from fighting. What belt are you? I'm a blue belt. Blue yeah, belt. yeah, where is my blue belt? It's around here somewhere. What's the, what's the belt for? That's not... Wait, blue belt is like kind of behind black belt, right? Oh, far from that. Oh, like, oh it's purple that's right behind it, right? E, uh, brown. So it goes, it goes, well, depending on the dojo, because like some dojos uh, do different, like they kind of do like in between belts, and we just do stripes. Um, so, oh, okay. yeah, like that, like there's like a stripe on the, right here. Like they put like a little stripe oh, here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And like, that basically means that I'm kind of like a, a second degree blue, blue belt, belt almost. Yeah. And blue belt, you normally get like after about two years of training or like a year of training, but it's like one of the longest, um, like belts to have because like the skill spectrum is just like so wide like Mm. you could have like a blue belt that's just entering that pretty much is a white belt and then you could also have a blue belt that's like maybe fourth degree who's very close to a black belt Mm -hmm. like in in his intensity in his dexterity in his technique level um but it goes white blue uh purple brown then black and then you're in the end game which is just like getting like stripes on your black belt and then you could possibly get to a corral belt which actually i think like takes almost like 50 yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Obscene amount of years. I, I want to do jujitsu so bad, and I Bro. I was gonna go to your yeah, club. Yeah, like we were. Well, gonna... what happened was I, cause I, like I ran into you, and you talked about doing that. Like I was gonna go do like a free trial at his yeah. jujitsu place. But what happened was uh, I ran into you right before I was going to Minnesota to go yeah, look for yeah, a, a place. Yeah, yeah. That's why I forget. And not only did we find a place, but the guy was like, "Hey, um, you know the tenants that have moved out, they already paid for this month." And their rooms are just open. And he was like, as long as it's okay with your new roommates, like, just go and live in in this house. Oh, nice. like, yeah, uh, he's That's like, the coolest for, roommates yeah, I've ever heard to, about. Oh, yeah. He was like, I don't have to, you don't have to pay until August 1st. And I was like, uh, he's like, just drop your deposit and then you're good. And I was like, hell yeah. So pretty <laughs> much, like, I came back on, like, the 8th 
and I moved all my stuff on the 11th. From from, from the Ames house to, to Min- Minnesota? Oh, yeah. no, bro. So that's why, like, I was in Minnesota. For yeah, the majority. Like, no, I figured, yeah, like, yeah. I figured that. I was just like, yeah, but Saab's probably, like, Saab's pro- I also, like, watch like, this story, I think, and, like, Saab, like, I think, like, there was, like, all kind of, I said, okay, Saab's on, on all kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, I, like, but I was like, I really want to do jujitsu. Bro, you so could expensive. do it. That's a good thing. Like, you could do it anywhere, dog. So, I mean, like, in Minnesota, actually, there's an alliance there. Um, there's an alliance that we actually go to train at sometimes because you kind of get used to the guys that you're fighting after a while and they kind of get like on to you. Like they know what I'm going to do. Like they know yeah. <laughs> if he gets on top of you, he's going to smother you with his weight and then he's going to wait until you're tired and then he's going to put an Americano on you, which is a shoulder lock that hurts like hell. Um, and yes, very one dimensional, very strength based. My technique is awful. I just win on the sheer strength. <laughs> and that's the reason why, like, I mean, my you're a big dude. I'm yeah, sure if you don't love me, 240. Like, 240. Holy yeah, shit. bro. I'm trying to get down. Like, that's why I've been like doing the fast and whatnot. But like, fasting has been so difficult for me. What, what kind of fast are you doing? Um, so right now, like, I think I am on, yeah, I just broke my 20. My 20 Holy, you hour. haven't eaten in 20 hours? Yeah, in 20, but okay. I mean, like, yesterday I didn't eat in 24, okay. and the day before that, 16. So, okay, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't recommend going, so I was... Yeah, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that all the time either. Who was it? It was Rob Lowe, who just looks amazing at the age of 50. Oh, yeah, yeah, He yeah, said yeah. he does this, uh, this fast... Rob Lowe was like, in Parks and Rec, too, right? Yeah, he was in Parks and Rec. I haven't watched Parks and Rec. He's what? in... Oh, no. <laughs> you know, the office in Parks and Rec cannot... I, it just doesn't hit thing. for me. It doesn't really? hit for me. Yeah, like, that I watched... dry humor? That's kind of, that's not, that's not yours, like, you're kind of, like, a little bit more I mean, animated. okay, so it's funny because some of it hits for me, like, there's so, there's, there's been Office episode, episodes that I watch with friends, and I'm like, wow, this is really funny, and then yeah. there's some that I watch that I'm like, that's not funny. This is really dumb, <laughs> like, why is this, yeah, yeah, it, it, I don't know. But it's, like, one of the most popular shows, though, so, I mean, it must, it must hit something. Well, it's, like, it's, it's polarizing. And also, it's kind of, like, the other thing, too, is it's cool to like The Office. You know what I'm saying? Like, not yeah. only do people, like, like The Office, but they add it as, like, a personality trait. Yeah. And so it's, like, it's, like, look at me, I'm quirky, I like The Office. Yeah. So, like, I think that kind of added to it was, like, oh, all the cool kids are watching it, and I want to be cool, so, like, I have to watch The Office, and I have to enjoy it. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's also, like, an anti-comedy thing, too. Like, I think, like, there's, like, this, like, wave of new comedy that's very wry, very dry. Mm-hmm. Actually, like, really British-inspired because, like, that's... like That's what the show was, right? Yeah, the original was with Ricky Javai and, like, he's just... Oh, but, like, he's just an excellent actor and all kind of other stuff. But this um, move for, like, just wry, monotone humor is, like... I've been seeing a lot of it and I think it might have started with The Office mm. uh, because, like, even if you watch some YouTubers, like, this is, like, the YouTuber that I'm... Like, new YouTuber that I'm watching, like, Kelly Stamps. She has the most monotone voice ever. Like, she's this black girl, and, like, she's just stylist. She sounds like... I don't know if you've ever watched Daria um, from MTV. Basically, the most monotone voice you could think of. And you should know, like, that's, like, a no-go in YouTube. Like, yeah. you're trying to hold this person's attention. you got to be over the top. But, like, now... What's like, going on, Yeah, <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's not YouTube. Like, <laughs> but now, like, they have, like, this new one where they're just like, Hey, how are you doing? My name is Kelly Stamps. I'm gonna... Like, I'm just like, this is... But people love that. People love it. I mean... Yeah, people say it's, it's real. They say it's real. Like, it's not over the top. And I'm all like... I don't know. It just seems boring to me. Some people yeah. could do it, I think, but... I don't know. Well, it's funny, because, like, ever since I started doing YouTube and stuff, audio has been in extremely important to me. Hell like, it extremely... Hell because yeah. I think subconsciously it's important to everybody, but nobody really realizes it until, like... like they actually do it. When you're... Like, I remember one of the biggest things that I learned when I was making YouTube videos is, uh, like, the pauses to make something that's supposed to be more dramatic or more funny, like, heightened, right? So, like, if if I say something and I cut out the music and kind of have, like, an awkward silence, yep. it makes it way more mm-hmm. funny than if I had just said it and, like, kept playing music or, like, kept uh, music in the background or yep. just, like, you know, didn't leave that awkward silence in there kind of thing. And yep. so, like, ever since I learned that every video look i can't watch videos that have really bad audio quality of course it pisses me off i don't think anybody really can like if you got like if it's like the internal camera and even in your in your camera like i don't think that people could even like sometimes stomach that and if i like one time this is the this is the ultimate test i put out a video excellent video i think like it was at the height of like the george floyd um tension and like i put out a video about it and i thought it was great um, I tested it on my speakers. Everything sounded fine. But when I posted it to YouTube, people just can't say like, your audio is messed up. Your audio is messed up. I'm trying to figure it out. And they said that they could only hear it through one side. 
perfect oh. audio, but like it's just one side. And I never realized because like I have like a surround sound, like I just felt like it was all. And then when I took, I had to take it all the way down. <laughs> I had to, yeah, yeah, I had to take it like all the way down because they just could not take a yeah. Try to setting that. Yeah, thing. no, you're good. Just keep talking. Um, yeah, cool. Well, yeah, like they could just like not take it. Um, I wonder if it's gonna focus back. There we go. That one? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, it's not focusing. Oh there. You oh go. there, yeah, no. It's oh. not. <laughs> I think it was because I like stepped in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, like bad audio, and like even just coming from the audio world, like mm -hmm. I mm. I always said like okay, like I'm gonna definitely make sure like my audio is at the most pristine, is top quality. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, like yeah. I know how like people do not forgive bad audio, dude. Like your video, you could be shooting well, in I, HD. I don't think people realize too, like like there's so video is is more than just what you're seeing on the screen, it's what course. you're hearing. Um, it's what, you know, it, it's how people are talking, like yeah. making a good video is so much better than just like having an HD camera. And it's so funny because people are always like, oh, I don't have the camera to do it or I don't have like this to do it. But it's like you, if you don't have those foundation pieces, it doesn't matter if your camera shoots 4k, nobody's going to watch you because you're not entertaining. Like, exactly. yeah, facts. Like, I mean like that's, and that hurt me. Like I'm all like, it's one thing to be entertaining, like in a person, like dyad, but like translating that over to YouTube. And like trying to get your personality across on YouTube, it's just like, it's a whole nother battle. So I don't even think we got through your introduction because because oh, I stopped you on your name and then we started talking. Damn, about it. this. But uh, let, okay, like, let Rats. me introduce him really quick. Like, so this man, his, his YouTube oh, channel God. is Foreign Man in a Foreign Land. Um, yeah, <laughs> from the Caribbean. This dude is just like the homie. I'm really mad. I met you senior year. Literally, how we, how we met this guy. Me and my big Evan were working out at the gym, and this Evan. dude just rolls up to us. I didn't even camera. know Evan was your big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's my big in my fraternity. Oh wow, I didn't know him. <laughs> yeah, well, he's like he's like my older brother because I have three sisters. Like, never had a brother. He's basically my older brother. So like, he uh, we were at the gym, and you just rolled up to him with a camera. I was like, yo, man, like, would love to have you in this video that I'm shooting, and like. You, uh, we were making right. fun of him because he was from Chicago, so he said everything really good. But like, <laughs> but that was that still to this day is my like probably like one of my most favorite videos. In fact, like it's in my best of foreign man playlist yeah. because like that really just shows like you really pass people on a daily basis that you have intersections with that you would never know. Like if I didn't do that video. I would have probably been mean mugging Evan like every other, <laughs> every other time like Yo. we're at the gym because like I'm all like Who, who's this guy I think he is like, <laughs> like this, this is this aesthetic queen like you know he's in the gym <laughs> <laughs> like looks like he's air bending and whatnot like I'm all like I'm like who does this guy think he is like doing like the sissiest workouts and I'm like bro like who is this guy and then you like you did not just say air bending bro <laughs> like, like I mean like warping like all of his body and then like I start talking to him and I'm all like bro this guy's cool as hell No he is cool And it's then like you too and then like he's all like like Sarby's in there he's like oh yeah Sarby does you too And then like we meet each other and I'm yeah. just like bro where have you guys been? Like, it's like <laughs> No, dude, I, I, I should have, I really, like, my time here, I really should have tried to start a club for, like, creators, because, like, I went to the film club, like, not trying to rag on them or anything, but it was just it's too, like, like it was too theater kid for me. Yeah. Like, not in a bad way, like, theater kids, like, don't get me wrong, I was a theater kid, like, I, I <laughs> love doing the plays and shit in my high school, but, like, it's just a certain type, yeah. and yeah. the creators and, like, people who do theater, very different. I just like, didn't deal with the ego over there, like, I've been there. Like, that's true. They kind of, like... Them and like the music hall kind of like overlap. Oh yeah. And how like they're both like very pretentious like with how much they know the craft because like my vocal coach he's an opera singer and he actually teaches at Iowa State in that hall and they would see me walking in there and it's like a cult like they legit are like the Waco clan like I mean like they would get in there and they would see me walk in the doors and they'd be like. Like, just like, you can't sit with us, like, mean girls type. I'm just, I'm just going to his office. And, like, they, because, like, there's just, it's such a close-knit community. And, like, I'm like, man, like, egos, when it comes to art, is, like, a serious thing that we need to, like, talk about. Because, like, even in the Bahamas, like, there's, like, small demand for entertainment. Like, there's no big scene. Um, but you have, like, very creative people, very funny people, singers, dancers, all these different things because, like, we're tourist-based, which means, like, we're naturally entertaining. Mm. But there's no demand for that. However, you still have people that 
I will literally think that they're Kim Kardashian walking down the road. I'm like, fam, like, <laughs> like we got to work. Like, like seriously, like they wouldn't talk to you. Like, hey, how you doing? Like they're just like like Stonewall because like like you got a couple thousand followers and I'm like, bro, like this is wild. Like when yeah, I, I when I that came, in, yeah, I hate that internet culture. That's like, oh, I have like ten thousand followers. I'm so sick. It's like. Yeah, but how many of them are monetized? Like, I mean, like how many? Important. Like how many of them could act? Like if you push a product right now on your IG, like would they even buy it? Like even that, yeah. you know? How many of them did you buy? <laughs> how, how many did you buy, bro? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, that's one thing I'm trying to explain to Evan right now is like because I'm trying to help him grow his Instagram, and I'm like, it's not about the amount that you have; it's about the the the, the quality, the reach, too, like yeah. right. That's why, like, I was explaining my DM strategy to you. The reason why I think that's so effective, even though it's slow, is you're making a connection with somebody. Yeah. Like, people don't realize, like, there's a big difference between someone who likes your photos and somebody who feels comfortable DMing you. That's, that's There true. is a stronger... If he, they feel like, like, oh, man, this guy DM'd me, we had a decent conversation, I can send him, like, my posts if I want more likes on it, and he'll, like, interact with me. Like, there's a yeah. way stronger connection there than somebody who just is like, oh, cool, like, this guy who has muscles. Yeah. <laughs> like, pass- going- yeah, like, a like, passive, like, relationship with your followers. Like, yeah. how many of them could you actually... Exactly. Like, so. DM and actually have a conversation with Yeah, them. I told Evan, I was like, any follower you get, you should DM them and ask them if they have any fitness questions. Because if... Like, think about it, bro. Anybody who's giving you fitness advice, like... They're, they're like a god to me. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> you legit, know? yeah. Like some guy, like even I love it when like somebody who's just way bigger than me comes up to the gym uh, and like talks to me about like the lift that I'm doing and it's just like, oh yeah, you should try it this way because like it gets more squeeze in your chest or whatever. Like that shit's cool. And then I'm yeah. like, yeah, this guy's awesome. Like he's huge. Clearly he's doing something right. I'm going to listen to him. And so <laughs> I told Evan, I was like, dude, you are ginormous. People probably have tons of questions. You DM yeah. him. Hey, what's up? My name is Evan. Like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, grow my fitness account. Hey, what kind of fitness questions do you have? Like, yeah. I'd love to answer them for you. And then, too, he's coming out with, like, ebooks and stuff to get out for free. I'm like, dude, people are going to be oh, way great. more likely to that's download that idea. thing if people, if, if they know who you are and you've given them advice already, right? Yeah, no, I mean, even if you guys are listening, like, go follow up Evan. Evan, oh, yeah. Evan the Civ. Like, at, at Evan the Civ. Yeah, Evan the Civ. S I V. He's gonna yeah, listen to this and just yeah, like, like ah, yeah, that's me. me. <laughs> but, like, I like I was even, like, looking at what he's doing with, with, like, his stories, like, you know, and just, like, highlighting people. And even, like, the group that he made, like, with, like, and I need to do better with that because, like, the good vibes. We, I just oh, don't, yeah. I just don't have any good vibes to send, bro. Like, I mean, like, I'm an entertaining person, but I'm also very melancholy. I have to, like, <laughs> remind myself, like, hey, man, like, you should good vibes with people. Like, so we have yeah. this group chat on Instagram. It's just called Good, good Vibes. And we just put, like, like in, inspirational videos that we find or anything yeah. like Good Vibes-ish. Um, and I'm the worst about posting it. I, I just, I, like, I, bro, I, I barely even, like, like, I like to wallow in my melancholy. Like, I, I... It may look like I'm an extremely, and I am an ex- extremely positive person, but just being in political science, bro, like, you just are so attuned to just how disgusting the world is. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm just so jaded to this point. Like, most of my day is just being a misanthrope. But, like, when I'm out there, like, I'm giving people 100% oh, yeah. of me, like, all the time, because, like, they don't deserve to be, like, melancholy because, like, the world is a disgusting place and I don't want to be here. You know, like, that's, like, and I also, that's an edgy thing, but, like, at the same time, like, when you get into, like, good vibes and just, like, that group that, like, um, Evan made, like, it's great. Like, you got, like, guys, like, reaffirming themselves, like, sending motivational stuff and, like, like, man, this is great. Like, Evan's, like... Well, that's what you need, too. He's making an environment for people to, like, really feel positive about themselves. And I'm like, that's Yeah, great. dude. It's wild, like, how... Like, not that it's... I don't know how to describe it. Like, not that, like, you're a shitty person if you do this, but it's just a very, like, common culture to, like, shit on somebody for, like, doing yeah. something that they actually care about. It's yeah. so weird. Like... Like, you know, when I was doing my TikTok thing, like, even when I was doing really well, my fraternity brothers would poke at me for it. Mm. And I was like, you know, I'm kind of, like, really strong-willed enough where, like, yeah, yeah sure. About you, it. I was like, you can shit on me, but, like, you can't say you got 10K on, on TikTok before. Like, yeah. you, you like, probably what do you have to, this. Like, what, like, what do you have to show? Like, mm-hmm. it's mostly those people that don't really even have anything. Like, I have, like, family members, like, legit family well, members. Well, it's because you're not, like, going on the path. Exactly. Yeah, and, like, but it's, go to a 9 to 5 and yeah, then do this. But and, it's yeah. wild how many people get pushed back on the path by that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. I've always been glad that, like, no matter what, like, I'm like, okay, yeah, like, you do you. Yeah. But this is, like, this is for me kind of thing. Like, I've had people who, like, were, like, I know someone who had, a like, a, a YouTube channel that was doing pretty well. And then she got a lot of internet hate 
and, and, and like took down all of her videos because like these people were hate and like the hate was way worse than I've ever experienced. But I've always just been like, damn, fuck what other people say, especially yeah. the people that you don't know and you don't care about. It's like. Why would I listen to you? Like, yeah, you're like, such what? a piece of shit. Like, <laughs> like it sounds so terrible, but like, no, anybody like who's shitting on like you that. for doing something that you enjoy for no reason, it's like, well, that person is just a terrible human being. Like, why mm. would I listen to them? I mean, it's, it's someone that like literally is inadequate in their own life. That's how I see it. Like, mm -hmm. I love like there was at a point like where I believe like I had like this like weird dislike spree person. That would get to my video first every, every day. Like they just, have like ah! push notifications. <laughs> no, like they have post on. notifications on, and before I even get a view, boom! Like just, just like just one, like just you. like I'm like, well, damn, the video ain't even come out yet. Like I'm like, how? Like how? And I didn't know who that person was, but at the same time, like it's engagement nonetheless. Yeah. That's how I I look at it. Like even it's even like how it is in real life because even if someone's talking about me, like about you negatively. Like free marketing, so, free marketing. <laughs> like you know, it's the same with YouTube. Like that dislike is a like in YouTube's eyes. Like yeah. it's engagement in YouTube's eyes. Yeah. In TikTok, like if you're if someone say, oh, that's Sarbi posting the yeah, TikTok, let me go see, let me like dislike that. You're still going to Sarbi's account and then so, like watching his TikTok. So so those theme accounts that I run, high key, I love posting borderline controversial things. Yeah. Bro. Just because. You know it gets saying. a ton, all, almost always will go, like, if, if somebody makes a joke, like, if a girl makes a joke about, like, men are trash or something, yeah. um, almost 100% of the time it'll go viral. Because, because, like, you just have girls who are like, yes, queen, <laughs> and then you also <laughs> have guys, you have like... those, like, super insecure dudes who are like, men, men aren't trash, like, you're picking the wrong yeah, man, and like, it's like, uh... and they just go at it in the comments, and I'm just kind of like, you know what? Like, it's engagement. <laughs> Bro, for real. Like, I mean, like, and that's what I've been, like, kind of focusing on. Like, I told you, like, I've been, like, messing with my audiences so different, like, so much. You gotta and, experiment, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like, the way I'm doing it, like, right now, like, the storytelling aspect is something that works. And more so, like, getting other people to tell their stories. And I was telling you, like, I'm, I was focusing mostly on minorities, like... They are the people that you don't hear about that much. like Especially here in Iowa. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, a, a minority in Iowa is probably one of the most gentrified, like, in most cases, because they're just so forced to fit into, like, some type of mold mm -hmm. in what Iowa is. And I've really been focusing on, like, black women. Like, dark mm. like especially dark-skinned women. Yeah, because like, they have two. They, they're they're African-American exactly. and they're women. Like. Exactly. Like, I never, like, realized this, like... Even, like, our privilege, and, like, I used to, like, cringe at, like, even the word privilege because I really didn't understand it that much, but more and more, like, like I started to dig into it, and this, like, all of the tension around us is, like, giving me a chance to, we really have a privilege just being men. Like, people take us seriously. People, we don't have to think about the same things that, like, a black oh, dude, girl 100%. or a girl in general just has to think about, you know? Yeah, like, I, um, my, so I wasn't sure if I was going to stay here this summer, um, I ended up staying, but, uh, like, for a while, my little sister was thinking about staying, and I was like, mm. oh, like, you can just take over my apartment, like, nobody's gonna be there, it'll be fine, and she's like, you think I'm gonna live in an apartment by myself? And I was like, yeah, you would never think why about not? That. Yeah. And she's like, I can't live in a, like, by myself as a woman, like, that's just so, like, like, that, th I wouldn't feel safe, and I, yeah. that was just so, like, I, I don't even have to yeah. think about that. Uh, like, yeah, I was I was in my apartment for two months by myself, and never once did I think, "Wow, someone's gonna break in here." Yeah. And like, or like, what happens if someone breaks in there? Exactly. Like, 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 I didn't even know like how terrified are like even like in like in the gym. Like you know me. Like I'm yeah. always like smiling. I'm like smiling at people, and then like I never realize why like it's just how difficult it is for like a woman just to be in a gym like with all kind of testosterone driven men. And, like, they're grunting and, like, they're, like, lifting big weights and they're slamming weights and whatnot. And then you're a girl and they're just trying to, like, get to, like, the cardio machine or something. Yeah. And then, like... Well, that's... I'm so surprised they haven't come out with, like, a like a woman-only gym or, like... They have that in... They have that in Canada. Like, the only place I've been to, like, they actually have that in Canada. And it's also because, like, they have, like, a really big Muslim population and you can't, um, like, have both of them together. Uh... Yeah, that's the only time I've actually seen that, though. Because... I think they want yeah. people to commingle, but even like, it's just like this idea like women just really don't have, like they think about things that I would never. Oh, yeah. Like walking no. down the middle of campus, like I'm not worried about anything. Yeah, yeah. And like even too, like, I don't know. I, I, I talk to my friends who go to the gym and they're like, I hate it when guys check me out. And I'm like, 
And which is so like, like I think it's almost kind of like if a girl's yeah. checking me out, it's like, oh yeah, you are. Like, you know, like, but that's not like, cause like it, it, with a girl and a guy, it's not like you're worried about that girl doing anything. Like I'm never worried like, yeah, oh, this girl's checking yeah, me out. Yeah. I'm not worried about her like following me to my car or yeah. like, but like for girls, yeah. like multiple girls I've talked to have been followed to their car by some old ass dude at the gym. Yep. And it's like, whoa, like how, the, how does this even happen? Like Bro, the part, the, the stuff that like scared me the most, like I went on this uh, trip to Belize, like with a bunch of sorority girls. Like I probably like, I was one of the only black people there, but like the majority of the girls were like sorority girls. Turns out that sorority girls really love like studying abroad because it's like really picturesque. Oh, who was I talking to? Oh, do you um, know uh, Kinsey? Kinsey yes. Yeah. I, yeah, Kinsey I was with me. me. <laughs> Kinsey was with me, bro. And Kinsey, shout like, shout out Kinsey. Yeah, shout <laughs> out Kinsey. No, honestly, like, she, like, me and her bucked so much, like, during that trip because, like, she's, like, so strong willed. And, like, also at the same time, like, I, like, as a big black dude, like, you I, protected them in a lot of cases. Yeah, yeah. yeah in yeah, some yeah. cases, like when they went out, like in the middle of the night, I'm gonna go out drinking in Belize. I'm like, nah. I know my people. We're Caribbean. These guys will hound you down. Sure enough, they did. Like they like mm. cornered her and like got like real close. Like we don't care. We will like get in your personal space, talk to you, and uh, all of that, right? But yeah, one dude. of the things that I realized was like, you know, they were talking about it and they were opening up about it, and like the Greek community and how like a lot of the cases go unnoticed because of like that that sisterhood kinship mm -hmm. because like you know there's like actually like a lot of sexual assault in the greek community that like we never hear about because of how close enough a society it is like it's almost taboo to talk about like there was this one girl um in a sorority and she was talking about how is this here or is this here bro? here really here. yeah like they were talking about like how like she was sexually assaulted by one of her um one of the brother frats to their sister frat, uh, to this brother know, frats to their like to the sorority, and then like I don't even know if there we really have like brothers. Oh, uh, but either way, yeah, yeah, like 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 they like go to like those like those like um not dances or formals like kind of formal yeah and like well formals like you can invite whoever kind of whoever thing. yeah well they were saying like it was like between like the um like one of the fraternities and they were talking about like how maybe they were paired. For yeah, something. they were paired like for yeah. homecoming. Yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not. I'm totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's I'm hard like... to explain that stuff if you're not in the sort <laughs> yeah, of the exactly. like, community. But like, they were talking about. It, and she was like, she said, you know, like I just call this guy like Ryan. Like he was just like, oh, you know, like Ryan's actually just all to me. And they're just like Ryan, not Ryan. Like we yeah. know Ryan. Like we love Ryan. Um, yeah, they'll like agree with him. Yeah, and they're they were pressuring it because they just didn't want to bring bad PR or bad optics to the sister so like they just swept it under the rug and like you talk to them and like that's actually like really commonplace so if you get like a bunch of sorority girls in, the, in the, like uh in a group and like actually start talking about it on a real point like they'd be like yeah like you've heard about it like well, i don't even think it's point. i don't even think it's just sorority girls i think it's girls in general well yeah girls like you i yeah. mean most of the stuff that gets like reported here because like if, if something happened in the greek community they'd have to tell because the greek community is part of the campus but most of those kinds of things get reported like in the campus housing yeah, that too. That, that which too. is wild like, to me. It it, and it's something like I would never think about. Like I'd never, <laughs> I'd never think of a girl holding me down and doing anything to me. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, like so, like just like the fact, like I'm all like, wow. There's just like so many different grievances that like, women have, and especially black women because of that intersection too. Um, and if you get into the colorism part, like, because, like, there's, like, a whole, like, spectrum that, like, people are unaware about, like, how... Oh, like, within the, like, if you're yeah. light skin, you're, yes. like... Like, even, like, yeah, yes, yeah, bro. yeah. Like, they, like, the darker black, the darker black women get treated, and they're woefully underrepresented, like, in a bunch of different areas. Like, you rarely even see a dark-skinned woman on, like, a Netflix series, and if you do, like, what role are they playing? You know, like, what, like, are they playing, like, a supporting character? Yeah. Are they even fleshed out in, like, in character um, development? Like, you know, like, there's basically nothing about that dark-skinned woman inside that series other than the fact that, like, she's tethered yeah. to this other woman, even if it is a woman. Um, and you normally see light-skinned light girls. We normally praise light-skinned girls. Like, Beyonce, she's, she's, she's light-skinned. Rihanna, like, from Barbados, she's light-skinned. Yeah. Like, a lot of the women that we pride, even if they are black women, they are lighter-skinned black women. Um, so, like, that's why I've been, like, focusing mostly on doing that because I'm, like, man, as a black man, I... I rarely um, check the privilege that I have of just being a man. Like, yep. You know, like, I could... I don't ever worry about people not taking me seriously. I know, like, if I speak, someone will listen. Like, I just realize how much... Even I, like, discredit, like, black women. 
like on a constant basis and I had yeah. to check myself yeah I had to check myself no on that. it's a hundred like I I am so big on like people calling me out on my shit like <laughs> totally like if I cut a girl off I want somebody to be like hey you fucking cut me off yeah and like, exactly because sometimes I just do it and I don't even realize it and we then talk it's like lot. oh my god I'm a shitty person like he's like <laughs> You cut me off. <laughs> yeah, like I'm glad I'm glad you did that. Like and I mean like even like in my videos, like someone pointed out like one of the videos that I had, like where this person I was like talking with a girl and like it was an eleven minute video and she only spoke like for one minute of that video. Like someone pointed oh, it out to yeah. me, like not in the comments, thank God. But like you like <laughs> told me about it and I'm like, like Hey man, man um, like you know, I barely heard about what, what this girl said. I'm like Yeah. So I've been like focusing on that. Yeah. And I mean, like, but it, it's so like everybody has to be perfect right now, which is so just stupid and unrealistic. Like, I have so many, like, I'm not good at a lot of things, but me neither. and it's so like everybody is not willing to admit that. Everybody wants to be the person who, but like, what never made a racist joke yeah. and like never like this doesn't make any mistakes. Like everybody is just this like glass ball of like perfect, yeah. and it's like. No, I'm That's an the idiot. problem with the cancel culture thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate. I, I was. I, I was yeah, joking. No, I, I was like, I was telling my friends, I was like, I hope I get canceled one day because that's just free. Bro, you would get. You would honestly <laughs> like. There's so many things like that you speak about, and I love it. That like like a really sensitive person would try to cancel you over, and like well, I'm glad that nobody has ever tried that. Because... So well, here's my thing. So I need to go back on my YouTube channel and like like go and look at some of my videos. Like, <laughs> well, here's the thing. So I when I was I will openly admit this. Like, I've always thought about this. Like, if I got big and someone tried to... Because, like, there's definitely YouTube videos there's where gotta I'm be saying... One. <laughs> no, I'm saying the F slur. Do you know that? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, we say that a lot in, in the bottom. Like, Dude, yeah. The, 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 the community that I was in, both playing hockey and both, like... Like, I hate people who are, like, you're 17, you're 18, you should know better. It's like, no. No, we don't... You are still a child. Like, even yeah, now, bro. I'm still a kid. I just, like, have surrounded myself with more, like more like i'm less ignorant yeah, than i was yeah. before i was part of the call of duty gaming community which anybody yeah. in that community knows how unbelievably Pewdie toxic Pewdie it pie is on the, sp uh, on the bridge like, <laughs> like, yes was he playing call of duty i don't remember <laughs> all i know is like that community toxic um yeah. there were a lot of Fortnite things that you would guys. say there was a lot of things i was saying that i didn't even know were bad things to say so in a like, so I, I would do trick shotting. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I've seen the videos that you do with yep. trick shotting. Yeah. So with trick shotting, when you spin and like you shoot and the person is in your crosshairs, but it just misses. A common term that people would just say, and I didn't even think about like the implications, the common like imp like phrase that people would use is like, oh, I just got jewed. Oh, wow. Which is like yeah. one thing I, I was Honestly, like, I first time I... And I s not still say it, but like I've said that like... I think I say oh, gyp. Dude, there's... And like, yeah. that's gypsy. Gypsy, that yeah. is 100% not something you should be saying. And like, <laughs> but, but and like, people want to put it on this front, like, oh, I've never, I've like, never accidentally, done this you know, and like, there was a time too, and it was, I think when Vine was out, because I remember there was a video where, um, this guy walks in a room and he's like, what's up, my, and he says yeah. the N word, and then oh, it's like a bunch man. of black people. Everybody thought that was funny. There was a time where like, people thought it was like, Shane okay Dawson. to say yeah, Shane Dawson, Shane Dawson uh, like, Post Malone. Like, like, oh, wow. I didn't even were, know he did oh, yeah, he, there's like a vine of him saying it. And it's oh, like, wow. everybody's like, cancel this guy. And it's like, dude, first off, the times were different. Like, no matter what you like, yeah, have to was. admit, like, they were different. And like, also, it's all about, too, like, I was around hockey guys who hockey, like, <laughs> locker room culture is definitely different. Yeah, it's like, real. being around that, that, and not like, not having anything to really check it. Yeah. Like, you know, the, when I learned that Jude was a bad thing, I, I said it and my dad was around and he was like, hey, um, uh, you shouldn't say that. And I was just like, what? What do you mean? And he's like, you do know like the implications behind that, right? And he like sat me down and explained it and like, yeah, like it was, ex but it, at no point in my mind did I equate it to what it yeah. like actually is, is connected to. And it's like, there are so many, like if somebody tried to cancel me for something I did when I was 16, I would just be like. Hey, yeah, I, I was, apologize. I yeah, apologize. Yeah. Like, if I do that now, I want you to fire my ass. Yeah, like, and just keep that me, shit up. Yeah. But like, if if I'm, you know, if you're gonna go back to when I was 17 and I said death slur in one of my videos yeah. because like, I that was what I thought was normal. Hey man, I don't do that anymore. Like, yeah. you, give people sure. room to grow. Like, exactly. Yeah, and that's what cancel culture, like culture, just like robbed us of. It's like no. you have to like be. And like I mean, like in the Caribbean, like we're like really politically incorrect. 
Um, so and, many places in it are like yeah. the, in the U.S. It's just very popular now to be very politically correct. Yeah. Like it wasn't like if you said you know the F slur around somebody who didn't like it. If you said most UK, of the time they I mean, wouldn't have a, in the U.K. It's it's a cigarette. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so they yeah, still yeah. say it. Mm-hmm. Like, like um, they in in other like. Even, you know, when I was in high school, if you said it, like, usually if somebody didn't like the word, they would just, like, shut their mouth or something like that. Now it's, like, almost cool to, like, call people out on it. Yeah. Well, that... Which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Another part, like, <laughs> no, one of the things that, like, I've been, like, realizing it was actually brought to my attention from this white guy that was, a uh, has two black adopted kids from the Congo, and, like, he's trying to navigate mm. racism. And he yeah, was talking... Yeah, how do you explain that to a kid when you don't Damn. go through it? Yeah, like, you're a white man, and, like, you're trying to explain that to... Two black kids, like it's, but he has a whole world of like all kind of different like things to deal with. But he was talking about how like with some white people, Keep it's like restart the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was talking about like how with some white people, it's almost like a contest. Like white people call out racism more than like black people do because like they're just like hyper, they're like hyper sensitive to the idea of racism. Like they wanna like they wanna make sure like everybody is not being racist. They wanna say like and also it makes them look not racist. Mm-hmm. So like if you're a white guy and like someone says something even remotely like resembling something racist, they like very quick to jump on that, like, hey man, hey man, hey man, it's racist. And like it kinda like shows them like, see, I'm not racist, I'm calling out racism. And after a while, like this is like and this is like the next side of it, it's probably an unpopular opinion, but with the movement right now, especially like with the racism movement, there's just like so many, like n- there's a lot of nitpicking, without actually getting to like the root of the issue. Like I think that that's one of the problems with even the Black Lives Matter campaign. What they've been dealing with is the fact that they don't have like one singular leader that could say, okay, like keep it focused. They've been like dealing with okay, well, um, addressing all kind of diffuse mean, uh, means means. Um, and matters <laughs> rather than rather than actually like dealing with what they needed to, which is systemic racism. That's mm-hmm. what got like George Floyd killed. That's what got Breonna Taylor killed. You know, it's a systemic racism. It's a, it's a society that allows and a law that allows for these things to happen. And yeah, yeah go for it. Yeah, and just have shifted a ton. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's like that's what like like people have been like dealing with because for some reason we got lost and like we're dealing with more like like branches of the root rather yeah. than like the root itself and it's dude it's it's hard like even like social media right now is hard like just like being online and like yeah i can't be on twitter anymore uh, like, it, oh. it's just and even instagram like i kind of stopped scrolling just cuz i was like well i'm also on my social media grind and like yeah. i just think it's so much better to produce than consume I, I consume the true, most right on TikTok, and that's just because I have those Steam accounts. Yeah. And I try to post, so, like, you have to consume a little bit to, like, get up, get ideas and stuff, but... Um, I no. haven't been inspired by much lately, either. On TikTok? Well, just in general. Oh, just like, in general? I've been feeling, like, really uninspired. Like, there's not... Like, I mean, like, also, like, that's the feather of, like, you know, you've been at the YouTube thing now almost, like, in a... What? A, in January, it'll be a year. So it's also like that plateau that you're getting, but like I've just been like extremely uninspired because like the times are just so uninspiring. Like yeah. it's just like drab and very like disheartening. This is so much negative. Like what happened in Lebanon the other day? Oh. Oh man. my god, that was so sad. I literally, I almost started crying. I was like, like I saw the videos of it and I was just like, holy yeah, that... shit. Can you just imagine? Too, like, like something goes off. Like we have a nuclear power plant somewhere around here. Like. In a, like in a, uh, I was looking at this like one of the top places that would be nuked or something like that if we ever got in like a nuclear war would be Ames because there's like a oh it's not yeah, a nuclear a research plant. plant it's like it's a it's a uh it's like a hazard facility yes yeah like, yep, it's that's like what it's right called. down yeah on not was it Lincoln yeah it is Lincoln Way is it on Lincoln oh. yeah, yeah yeah Lincoln on, right on Lincoln Way like it's a screwed, bro bro I mean like there's just like well, you so- I'd be in Minneapolis <laughs> 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 I'll be coming down there like honestly like we like when that um storm hit. Iowa, um, um, Ames, well, that derecho, I think it's called, that straight line windstorm, and, like, the winds got to 100 miles per hour. Like, that's the first when time. When did this happen? Bro, that's what was happening this week. Like, remember, like, Oh, okay, I was, I was gone. I was <laughs> gone. I thought it was just tornadoes, too. I didn't no, know that it was. was. So, like, on Monday, 11 o'clock in the morning, like, all I hear is this, 
Yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's a oh, siren. It's a I'm siren. like, okay, this is the first time I've actually. I always thought that was a test alarm. I've never been through a tornado or any type of storm I over here. Either, yeah. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. And I just realized it getting like really dark really quickly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh I'm like, my wait, this doesn't make. Is this the end time? Like, I'm like, this is. This would be. This is very 2020. This is 2020. Like, of yeah, you. this is very like 2020 of you guys. Very like, on brand. Very yeah, on brand. very on <laughs> message. Like. And like the the sky just gets completely dark, like pitch black, twelve o'clock in the night, and then whoosh and rain, just like like torrential. Did you biblical... ask, is there a is there a basement this place? Bro, I was at practice. I was fighting. I was I was underneath men <laughs> at the point, and like like I'm fighting off men, and then like all I underneath hear is a lot of men. Yeah, yeah. underneath a lot of men. Just like <laughs> I could see it right now. Peter, Underneath a lot of men. Yeah. That's just gonna be the title. Fake, Underneath yeah. a lot of men. Twenty twenty. You think that'll click? You think that'll click? I think I think it'll go. I think it'll get. I think right, it'll I'm off. gonna name that. That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> Underneath a bunch of men. <laughs> I was just like, I look outside and bro, like it's just all trees flying, like yeah, everything is like like projectiles just going everywhere, and I'm just like, what is going on? The lights then turn off, and it doesn't come on for another. Like, mm-hmm. a whole day goes by. And I'm all like, okay, like, this is fine. I'm from the Caribbean. Like, I know how to deal with this. We, our light's always off. Um, so it makes sense. But for some reason, when I went to Walmart and I realized it was closed because there was no electricity, I lost it. Like, I was just like, nah, this isn't cool. This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> like, I'm all like, at least, I said, you guys don't have any generators? And, like, she's all like, no, the electricity doesn't come off. I was like, this is a first world country. And, and, like, and, and you guys don't have generators. It's so we have generators. It's like, so funny how like how smart but how stupid at the we same are. time. Yes, yeah, dude. I'm like this is a, this is the same thing with Corona. Like there was just no preparation for this. They didn't expect it, right? The same thing with this right here. Why don't you guys have generators? We're a third world country. We got houses with generators. You guys can't even keep Walmart open. Like, I went to, like, Wendy's looking for food. Like, there's no, there was no place that you could get hot food. And, and of course, you can't, you can't heat up you your own food. Yeah, you can't because open that gr- Yeah, because yeah, um, there's no gas stoves here either, so you can't cook food. Oh. We have gas stoves in the Bahamas, so, like, it's electrical stoves over here, and I'm just like, this sucks. I didn't I'm, think like, about that. I'm like, this is the stupidest thing ever. I'm in Iowa, in the greatest nation, and we can't. Heat up food. I can't find a place to get any, like, food. I had to eat Jimmy John's because it's cold ass sandwiches. <laughs> so I had to eat a cold sandwich. Like, I ate a foot long a sandwich. And I'm just like, this isn't what life is supposed to be, man. I'm all like, I could have stayed in the Bahamas and, like, been in darkness and then drive down the road and get, like, a Baconator from Wendy's. <laughs> but over here, like, I have to get Jimmy John's. And it was like that for a whole day. I was sleeping in heat. I had to cuddle the bag of peas that was inside the fridge because it was just so hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> and there was no AC, so just like I was just like holding the bag of peas and like the um turkey, like the frozen turkey from the fridge in bed, because I was just that hot, bro. Like I mean, I'm hot over here, just chilling. So I mean, like you could imagine that. Oh night, yeah, I'm no. so like when it when it's hot, my body just drenches yeah it's it's terrible i think it's like people who work out like your body's just like oh yeah we just gotta you just gotta just like start release spraying. a ton of sweat right? i'm just like sweaty all the time 24 <laughs> 7 i'm sweaty right now <laughs> i just realized that we like talked about everything but at the same time nothing yeah well that's kind of like, the nice that's what that's i want a, on this that's thing. a great thing like about this like that's that's a cool thing about I podcasts just, bro well that was the thing too like my podcast before was like, stick up the ass, like, oh, so how's it, like, how long have you been doing YouTube? <laughs> and I hated it, bro. I was like, what is, this isn't me. This is some, like, d- 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 you're, plastic you're mannequin of you're, you're me. You're Morgan. Or like- <laughs> yeah, dude, I hate that. Like, I mean, we can talk about, like, we can switch it over. I mean, we kind of talked about it, but like YouTube and stuff like that, just like, uh, you didn't even really get through introducing yourself. Let's like yeah. Let's let's do. actually like get like okay. So yeah, yeah, we'll do like I mean we've been going for like an hour already. We'll go oh, for man. like 30, 45 more minutes on like actually you and like the things you do because yeah. you're you're like so you do a lot because you do. Let me try to like list it out and tell me if I miss anything. So you do YouTube. Yeah. You also do freelance music production. Yeah. You do jujitsu. You work out pretty much every day on Bro, top of I the jujitsu. I need to know. You're also... Okay, yeah, I mean, the gyms have been kind of close. Not, <laughs> I mean, you can kind of blame you, but also kind of like, <laughs> You have a little bit of a fallback. Um, and then, and then, like, political science grad. Grads, yeah. You're a grad student, too, yeah. right? And also an RA? Yeah, so now I'm also doing that. I mean, like, 
a grad student should be faculty in most cases. Mm -hmm. But yeah, right now, like, I'm doing, like, the RA program, too, so I'm teaching political science to incoming radical freshmen, bro. Wait, like, is that RA or is that... Um, uh, RA, so, TA. TA on our research assistant. You might have been thinking, oh, like, resident. Oh, I'm thinking resident. Yeah, okay. no, 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 no. I could not do that, bro. Like, I mean, like, that. that's some other stuff. Like, well, that's I couldn't what, deal with that. I was really confused. I was like, you live here, which isn't a dorm. Yeah, or is, is it like a dorm. A, like, how could you yeah. do that? Yeah. yeah. So, no. Um, no. RA for, like, research. And, um, yeah, it's, 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 like, really annoying. Like, right about now, like, to be a political scientist, it's, like, really annoying because everybody's radical. There's nobody in the center anymore. Like, you can't have a conversation oh, yeah. with anybody. Well, it's, it's, like, considered a bad thing to be in the center. Yeah. You know, Which like, is, like, like, oh, yeah. Like, that's what my, my sister was making fun of me because we took this political compass thing, and I'm, oh, yeah. like, right in the middle, and I'm, like, <laughs> like it's a it's a compass, right? So, like, yeah. it's, like, left, right, and, like, authoritarian, libertarian. Yeah. And I'm, like, towards libertarian, right on the line. Yeah, that And my sense. sister was making fun of me. She's, like, you can't make a decision. And I'm, like, well, yeah, I can't make a decision because... Republicans have some good ideas, but they also yeah. have a shit ton uh, of bad, bad ideas. ideas. And same for same the thing with Democrats. Yeah. yeah, they care about people, but a lot of their programs don't have a lot of holes in them. Yeah, and like I'm, and I'm like, yeah, of course, because they're both idiots. They're both just like doing what's <laughs> gonna get more money in their pocket. So why would I agree with either of these idiots? Exactly, <laughs> like bro, like it's and honestly, like the political science answer, like as to like why this is all like this is simply like if you take it back all the way to. Without, like, getting too, like, into, like, the jargon of it, like, it all started with, like, John Locke, who basically influenced it, the Declaration of Independence over here, but, like, he's in um, Great Britain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Like, the whole thing about life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, that came from John Locke. And he was the person that created, like, this idea of isms, mm -hmm. like, uh, liberalism, classicalism, con conservatism, like, the idea of ism really came, like, from him because he was the first one to make classical liberalism. Which is most like what you guys would have had if it was conservatism, but now conservatism isn't even conservatism. Like Trump isn't even a conservative. He's he's more like like way right kind of he's right. Like, like he would be but a I don't dictator even think he, if he could. He wants to, bro. He'd be he like the next Putin, to. bro. He he low key wants to, but like I don't think that people would tr trust him enough. And actually, like in oh, some yeah. cases, like they like like authoritarian regimes. Like, I mean, like, it's kind of effective. Like, in China right now, when they did, like, when they had to shut things down for coronavirus, you could just shut it down with, like, a snap. Oh, yeah. Because, Russia? Like, yeah. Russia was like, you can stay in your house for two to three weeks, or you yeah. can stay in the jail for in two the to three years. Yeah, like, exactly. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, and, like, it, it might be bad. Like, there's no freedoms and everything. I know America's built on freedoms. But in cases like this, like, it's kind of beneficial because you could just tell people to go inside or start of jail time. Because people will probably stay in time if they know yeah. that, if they wouldn't get it. As opposed to here, which is just like swarming with cases. But yeah, that's where it all went to shit, basically. Um, liberalism, when like they created it, classical liberalism, people just stopped thinking because like they were like, okay, this is a prepackaged ideology now that I could say that this is what I believe in, and I don't have to think about what I believe in. I don't have to say what I have to believe in. I could just say, oh, I'm a classical liberalist, and then that's when people stopped talking about it. Because as soon as, like, I said I was this, and you said that you were something else, yeah. then we didn't even know what that meant. But, like, we just, like, was all like, okay, that's not me, so I'm mad at it. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's pretty much, like, that's the political science answer for why. Because now people don't even know what those terms mean. Because they don't, they don't talk about it anymore. Well, like, yeah, I mean, like, you, uh, my, like, liberal is very different from somebody else's liberal. Yeah, totally. My conservative is very different from somebody else's conservative. Because nobody would be able to, like, say, I totally agree with this one um, party. Because then you'd have to agree with all of the things that they say. And, like, I mean, like, there's some things about the Republicans that are great. There's some things about the, um, the Democrats that are great. They don't all have it together. That's the reason yeah. why there's two of them. That's why I want, I want a third party president. <laughs> like, 2024, I would... Love to. Like, it would be really interesting. Well, I mean, people would always say, "Well, okay, well, you're throwing away your vote if you do that," because I mean, independence. Well, I feel like this election you are, but I I know for a fact there's a lot of um, actually entrepreneurs right now who are gunning for a 2024 like campaign, yeah, a very effective that is one. True. And I honestly, I think the Democrats are idiots, and I think the Republicans are idiots, and they're <laughs> all just going for, "Hey, how can I be reelected?" And hey, how can I? Um, get more money in my pocket not hey how can i make this this yeah, this a better world, world yeah. or a better country and like i think that's a problem like i also think too because 
the big problem too that I've seen is a lot of people are trying to change the game, not work with the rules, right? So yeah. everybody wants to change like 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 you were saying with John Locke, like it's not like there's gonna be one human being that just has all the answers no. and like fixes everything. And even so, like you've read utopian books where things are supposed to be like perfect, but Brave really world, yeah. like utopias and dystopias are like on the same, same like point. they blur lines. Yeah, they're because it's like point. Yeah, you can have somebody, you can have the government be total authoritarian, I'm going to put you in jail, but that's not freedom. No. And that blurs lines into, well, now we can say, oh, I'm going to be president for until I die, like kind of Putin did, right? Or Putin was like, I don't even know, I tried to watch a documentary I on Putin about, and I, I forgot fell what, asleep. I forgot, <laughs> I mean, like, like with Putin, um, and like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, maybe we're just misinformation. Yeah, shit. no, no, but Putin, Putin's really interesting, Putin's actually a fighter too, like, Putin does judo. Um, and yeah. like he, he's, he's like, he's really badass. Like <laughs> Putin, <laughs> if you ever want to like scare yourself with just like how powerful and at the same time, like how dangerous someone could be, watch Putin. But, um, with as like in regards to just like where it's going to go, bro, who even knows? Like the, the problem with this Corona thing and like how that's made people kind of authoritarian is because in order to like stop COVID spread, like, a lot of governments have been able to, like, extend their emergency powers. Like, in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. our um, prime minister extended emergency powers, which makes him pretty much, like, the be-all and end-all. He's pretty much a dictator. And, uh... and, and most presidents and most prime ministers low-key want to be, um, like, dictators. Because yeah. you don't want to have to deal with, like waiting to get a decision made yeah. having to deal with like balancing court systems and different branches of government you don't want to talk to them you just want to go and say okay i want tuesdays to be ice cream like tuesdays i want it to be like that it's going to be like that that's what you want to be able to do you don't want to have to go and say well can it be ice cream tuesday? can it be ice cream tuesday yeah. and then there's that whole like it's not like congress or like what i don't even know like what like the executive order that yeah, yeah, trump yeah. just made to ban tiktok like i don't know what channels that has to pass through but you know a majority of that isn't like oh well is tiktok actually like dangerous for the the united states or not like let's get down to the facts it no it comes down to well trump is republican i'm supposed to vote with the other republicans because that's what yep. you're supposed to do or i'm getting you know paid to to like do this because this is beneficial for me for re-election like it's yeah. not it's not them sitting there like oh well what what's the best thing we can do for this country like n i mean i'm not even sure like the well the rationale they said for banning tiktok is because national security breaches um and like the fact that india did it uk did it um wait uk did it yeah uk yeah basically, really it's been banned in the uk for a while is that real? I'm gonna look yeah, that up no, while you're yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah. But like, I didn't know like that. They, like I was even like talking. Oh, Britain isn't part of UK anymore, huh? Or is it? No, what? No, the what? UK. Yeah, no, Britain is the UK. So, uh, the whole. Well, I thought I know it's in Britain though. Yeah. What? Um. Uh. TikTok. Yeah. It's it should be banned in, in all that. Let me let me look. Did TikTok? Get yeah. Banned? I'm pretty sure it's banned in the UK. Uh, UK. Because I was even talking with someone from the UK and they're talking about like how it's banned. No, I don't think it is. It's not? You no. Sure? It's, it, there's a lot of talk about it maybe being t banned. I'm uh, pretty sure. Oh, no. They said it's out of their, the, it it says out of their app store. Yeah, this is... Really? This is yeah. written on the 27th, and it's saying... 27th of this one? I mean, uh, well, we haven't reached the 27th. U.S. Yeah, is last considering time. a ban. Will UK... Wait, could, there's no suggestion. Hold on, sorry. A lot of dead air on this one. I'm right pretty now. sure, like, they, because I was just talking to someone from the UK and they were saying, yeah, like, we banned them a long time. UK right? suspended its extradition treaty with Hong Kong. I think so did we impose a blackout on Premier League things. Yeah, I don't think UK, because I remember somebody was like, um, like, so you get around it with a VPN, but. Yeah, that's what I was saying, too. Yeah. I was like, if they, like, everyone's like, what are you going to do when they ban TikTok? And I'm like, well, I guess I'll drop 20 bucks a month on a VPN. <laughs> yeah, like, right. I don't know. Like, yeah, and, I, but, and also it'll take out, like, well, I mean, like, would you be worried about that? Because, like, I mean, like, where will most of your audience be? Because not everybody's going to get it. So, like, you might get, like, some, like, a little yeah. bit of a drop. But, like... Well, Canada. I feel like Canada would be where I'd... Like, yeah. And I think, too, somebody was saying that you can just set your, like, you can set the setting the on your phone to be in Canada, and then your apps will pick up on that, which might screw up some of your other apps. But it's like... Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I saw this girl make a TikTok the other day. It's, me, yeah. uh, it's probably a telemarketer. <laughs> uh, I get so many. I get so many spam calls. Um, 
Well, I have to put my phone number everywhere for my business. Oh, also, um, my parents, for some reason, the, the place my parents live in Arizona is hmm. like really, like everybody wants to buy the property there. So not only do I get messages, but everybody in my family, I don't know how they get our phone numbers, but they get they get messages yeah. all the time about people wanting to buy our property okay. in Arizona. Anyways, um, yeah. I saw this girl make a TikTok where she's like, I put my, um, my location on Britain to test out if I could like, you know, beat the TikTok ban and now all I see is and they like made this joke about like a common British audio that's just horrible. Oh, God. Yeah, one of those things and um so I think I don't know, I think it's still hmm. I was, yeah, I was talking like one I think it's even like one of my one of my British followers like they were just like, Oh yeah, that's been banned like all my latest videos should you delete TikTok and like um no that's not that late. But yeah. Um we were just like talking about it because like there's like so many like there's like some seedy things with it because what I mean the the child pedophilia, like, uh, ring that they keep on finding about, like, you go to certain TikToks and how it's mostly a bunch of children. Wait, I have like, not heard about this. So, there's, like, there's, like, a bunch of children on TikTok. I mean, you know that part. And I mean, like, there's, like, a lot of people who are, like, a lot of old guys that are on TikTok. And they keep on looking for, like, preying on kids. I think there was this, like, one account where they tied to these guys preying on kids like going into their DMs and like talking to them, asking where they live, all that stuff. They exposed it. You can't find a TikTok account anymore, but there was a big story on it. And they were like talking about like, I mean, and the big thing about it is that China's tactics are like really pervasive. And they were saying like, it's so difficult to get TikTok's imprint off of your phone. Um, even when you delete it, like I think that they said that like they remotely store a lot of your data. And even like using like- I mean, but so does Facebook. I agree. Like, <laughs> no, I agree. I agree with that, and like, that's the reason why, like, I don't think that people even care. Like, I mean, like, because if you care about TikTok, then you should care about Facebook. They say that TikTok is even worse. Like, they say that it's even more evasive into like your um into your data. But at this point, like, you pretty much have everything out well, there. It's it's one of those things too. It's like cool. If you're a government official, yeah, totally get it. If there's like tension between us and China, whatever. But like. There's so many people who are like, yeah, TikTok is stealing my information. And they're just some, like, regular nine-to-fiver yeah, who works like, at, like, why do you think a generic ass. Like, what are they? What data are they stealing <laughs> from you, bro? Like, what data are they going to send to China exactly. that you're so fucking worried about? Like, and why are you more, I mean, like, why are you so worried about, like, China having your data when the U.S. has your data? Oh, yeah. I would be way more, you, <laughs> you, like, that's what people don't understand is, like, and this is something I kind of get from doing advertising on these platforms. Yeah. Facebook is the giant right now because they've been collecting data since like since they started, right? Oh. And they knew, they knew right like Facebook and Twitter and and LinkedIn, they all like picked up on it after after watching Facebook do it and seeing how effective it was, but Facebook was the first one that was like if we keep track of everything, there is so much money in data, and so yeah. much money in these and advertisers data, yeah. literally hyper targeting people based off of their income and their you know all these different things and having all these different like capabilities of tracking you know how long people are going through yep. videos like Facebook was the giant and to get to that point to have that much data you need years and years yeah. and years of they've data. been aggregating that I mean when did Facebook come out like oh six I want to say twenty ten. No. Like, well, I, don't I, went, I don't know when they went. I don't know when they went like public with yeah, it. Like, because because yeah. at first it was just universities. But um, no, I mean Facebook has so Facebook. You should be if you're terrified of anybody having your data and like too much of it. It should be Facebook. Facebook. The you used to be able to target based off of the credit card people used to have, mm. and I'm sure they still have that data. They're just not allowed to use it for advertising anymore. Yeah. You used to be able to like like if you wanted to target somebody who um like has a lot of money yeah you can only target stuff. people who have like amex gold express uh, cards because they knew that like facebook knew what kind of credit card you have geez. isn't it, that nuts it, like no it's, it's absolutely i mean like the, and even like from getting off of facebook for the most part like you're still using facebook products like i still use whatsapp and that's a facebook product mm -hmm. like, i mean even like um who, google bought youtube right Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have Google. But I mean, like. Google is another one. Google oh, has a Google, lot yeah. of data on everybody, and everyone just lets it slide. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, people don't go. Like, Google's not under threat as much. I mean, like, under as much circumspicion, um, circumspect, like, surveillance as Facebook is. Oh, no. Because, like, for some reason, like, people get, like. 
I think Google has like more of a breadth of knowledge, but for some reason they just don't care about it as much. I'm not too sure why, but like. I don't know. Facebook, uh, Google, well, Google, I know when, like, all that stuff with Trump was happening, I think they got a little flack. Oh, with Cambridge Analytica. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but, I mean, I think all the companies were because they, they didn't really realize how much data that they were able to collect from people until, like, that happened. Yeah. But even, I mean, even though, the, I watched that, um, the, the big hack. Yeah, I watched, I yeah. watched the documentary. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing about documentaries. People can say things, or they can say things very, they can say things very obscurely, and and implicate things that are technically wrong, right? So like, there's a yeah. part about your friend taking a survey, and then not only being able to get your their friends' data, but then all of their friends' data. To me, hmm. that didn't make sense because I know how Facebook works, and like, if you can't get that data from you, if you don't enter it into like a survey, right? So like if if you don't have if you if you're answering questions, right? The the thing that they were saying was that people took these surveys and even if you didn't take the surveys, they were able to get the answers to those surveys and use that data. And I was kind of sitting there and I was like, how do you answer how do you get data from somebody who hasn't filled out the survey, you know? Yeah, and to fun. me that didn't I don't know, maybe it's completely true, but to me like knowing the platform and having advertised on it, I was like that that doesn't really make sense. It's kind of improbable, yeah, that that would happen. Yeah, not like, totally I'm impossible, totally... but like yeah. improbable. Yeah. And for and I don't know. I think it was too like they're like, oh, they have data on everybody. Yeah. Well, like yeah, no shit, because you're using their app yeah, and like entering on information there. and typing things and you know like same thing with Twitter. Twitter has a lot of data. <laughs> and Twitter, I mean, Twitter came under scrutiny from being like tied to like the Saudi Arabian prince and whatnot. I mean, it's. It's just so much, and after a while, like you get to this point, like where you just like like disengage with all of it. Yeah. Um, and I was off of social media really up until I started the Four Nine the Four Nine channel. So that mm. was just like January was when I really just got back on all social media. Before that, I had Reddit and. Oh, love Reddit, bro! I love Reddit. At the same time, I hate Reddit because yeah. like, Reddit does is what it does. But like, I mean, the I that's how I stayed like kind of connected, but at the same time, like not too preoccupied with my peers and whatnot and like doing the Instagram thing and like getting on there I'm just like man I miss being off of the grid yeah like I totally oh now, well, I'm now it's you yeah and I know that's fake <laughs> I know that's fake well when you don't have the yeah, three on, yeah that too but like yeah I was just like man um yeah it's just saying like it's gonna keep okay. on recording yeah it's still recording but it's nice that you don't have to stop this mic oh yeah thank god I don't have to because I mean like I said audio is way more important but, um, even, like, if the screen goes black. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but, yeah, like, I wish I could be, like, off the grid right now. Because, like, especially, like, with this, like, the times that we're in, like, it's just so vapid. And, like, and when it's not vapid, it's just, like, disappointing or, like, uninspiring. Like, what do you do to even, like, stay inspired? <sighs> I don't know, man. I think, like, inspiration, motivation is just, like... Like, my, my buddy, I interviewed my buddy Sebastian, who has, like, 200K on YouTube. Um, he's I think I've seen that one. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, haven't, I haven't uploaded it yet. It's, oh, okay. But, that's I not mean, the, one that, the one that you, like, took, like, in a, like, in a setup with the, it's like a white background, like a white room. The guy that does YouTube, too. I don't, I don't think I've interviewed him yet. You did, you did a podcast with a guy that did YouTube. I forgot his name. I know I did too, but I can't remember. I didn't interview him. Uh, it might have been it might have been Max, Max Card. Might have been. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. Either way, yeah. I, either but way, one of them, yeah. Um, he he said something. He uh, what did he say? He said, people just want to feel good. Like, yeah. if you like, if you go online to get motivation, it makes you feel good. But it really doesn't do anything, right? Like, yeah, it's like not, you know, yeah. and You're so still where you are. A lot of it. Um, comes down to, right now I'm really focused on building disciplines and habits because when you break down everything if you break down a successful person it's because they have habits installed in their mind that just set them up for success right so there's a big difference if you have a habit set up for getting up at 6 a.m. and going to the gym yeah. versus getting up at 8 a.m. and um, you know going on Netflix like yeah. like imagine your morning routine is like going on Netflix and like watching a movie and like you know 
I mean, a lot of people just sit, like stay in bed, even if they wake up early. They just like stay that's in bed one thing I'm scroll. trying to be better about is like waking up on my first alarm and immediately like getting up and like doing something that puts. I notice like um, if I do something that just like uses my brain. Yeah, I wake up a lot fa- a lot faster. Yeah. I mean, I, I've i been waking up consistently at 6 o'clock for, like, Me too. two years now. Oh, not and two years. And, like, <laughs> oh, man, I, like, after it, because it also helps with everything else. Like, I mean, yep. like, one, it gets you to bed earlier, mm-hmm. and when you get to bed earlier, for me, like, my motto is, like, if you're, if you're sleeping, you're not eating. And, like, that's, yeah. like, one of the things, like, like I struggle with night eating a lot. Me so too, like, dude. If, if I'm oh up my later, God. if I'm, because, and there's actually a science behind it. Like, there's, like, a hormone that, like, your body produces that makes you want to eat oh. when you're up later. They And not only that, but you crave sugar, like, sugary, sugary foods. things, yeah. Yeah, because I think they're trying to, like, keep you up if you're, like, up late. So, like, if you get to bed, like, I get to bed, like, sometimes, like, I'm in bed by nine, nights off. Mm-hmm. Like, lights off, no big screens. Um, like I watch if I'm watching Netflix, it's on my iPad. Like it's small and it has like that, like, uh, like kind of like orange light setting, kind of. Yeah. It's not like too like dazzling, and I'm out properly by ten, ten thirty. Wake up at six. Like no alarm. I haven't used an alarm for before. That's so nice. I used to be like that. So like I'd wake up before my alarm and I'd like be up and like listen to it go off and then get out of bed. That's kind of thing. so good. Because, like, I mean, like, it shocks your nervous system, like, when you use an alarm, like, it, like, It's not healthy it. to wake yeah, up to Yeah, like, alarm. it's just, like, like, gunfire almost. Like, yeah. you wake up, bang, I'm like, damn, like, I can't take it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, that part is good, and, like, I, like, my morning routine, like, I get out of the bed, like, get back into it, get all my workout. I pretty much get everything done, like, that I need to administratively by, like, 9 or 10. That's so nice. See, and, I, like, that's one thing I'm trying to be better about is I, I take a lot of, like, breaks in between. I need to be good about, like, going back to back to back. But a lot of, like I said, it's habits, right? Yeah. It, it's a, it, I'm super big right now on, like, your subconscious mind is, like, 95% of what you do. The way you yeah. talk, the way you walk, um, you know, the, the, you know, what you do in the morning. Like, all of it is just, like, subconscious. And the way that you, the, uh, once again, my buddy Sebastian, he made this great analogy that it's, like, your life is like you're driving a truck and that truck is your subconscious. Now, it's not like you can immediately change what your subconscious does. It's not like you can just whip that truck around as soon as you want, but it's like a slow turn. So like if you want to turn that truck around, you're going to have to keep consciously checking. So like um, if you want to get in that, if you want to change your life and be like healthier, work out more, it needs to be, your subconscious is trained to not work out and not like be used to that. You need to train your subconscious by consciously telling it, slowly turning the wheel. When, whenever your subconscious is like, oh, I don't have to work out today. Your conscious mind has to be like, no, this is something that I really want. Like yeah. this, I have to like work out because for someone like you and me too now, like, uh, you know, before quarantine, right? <laughs> before quarantine. Um, like working out was a necessity. Like it wasn't, it wasn't not, it wasn't Bro, negotiable. Like real. It was like a, a voice in the back of my head was like, you have to go to the gym today. Like I you have to go off, to the gym today. Like, if I, if yep. I don't work out one day, even on, and I mean like at a certain point, like it, like we do need our rest days and I need to take care of that. Like that's the reason what like this like back thing taught me is like I just need to sit down or else my body will make me sit down. Yep. Um, <laughs> but like I learned that the hard way too. Yes. I learned my back deadlifting my uh, after my freshman year. So in like oh, 2017. God. Yeah, Damn. dude. Oh my god, most painful. I'm pretty sure I like pulled my what's this muscle called back here? Um, vertebrae. No, no, no. It's like the muscle. It's like uh uh. Did you have, you didn't have surgery on it, did you? No. That makes me feel really good because I was. Scared well, I might have. Sh- I maybe sh- I didn't go to a doctor. <laughs> I probably should have. I, I was out for the. Bro, we don't. I don't like. To, I don't want to do that either. Like I'm keep. I keep saying to myself you know, like. If you do you have like ins- good insurance and stuff. Kinda. I would just do it. Like that was one thing that like now yeah. my back kind of hurts a little bit. And, like it I would be on the school's dime. So, God, I mean, what is it? Su- psoriasis. Psori- no, not psoriasis, but like the muscle. It sounds like. Ps- why am I blanking on this, bro? This is so stupid. Anyway, the mu- the muscle uh, in your lower back, lower lumbar, or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like um, like the muscle that like kind of connects like your 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 like, tailbone. Yeah, kind of uh, like it's like right here. Why do I? Oh my god, somebody's probably listening to this podcast. Sciat- like you idiot. Sciatica. That sounds close, but like I don't know if that's it. I think like one of my friends. Like, sciatic sciatic nerve. You're yeah, right. yeah, 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 you're totally yeah, right. Yeah, sciatica. I don't yeah. know why I was like. No, because like some <laughs> some kind of skin disease. <laughs> I thought it was that actually too. No, for real. Like that. Like honestly. Like I mean, that 
we used to like kill a gym. Like I mean, mm-hmm. like there's some guys like even way better. Like I saw um Luke. You, do you know Luke the Yeah, I do right? know. Like, yeah, like all of them. Like and he wants to do like the same competition that Evans doing in Texas. So, oh like, really? Yeah. Like, oh shit. I don't even know like if if Luke has declared that. So like whoever here that like they probably like, I probably just ruined Luke's yeah plan. he's like, like hell man <laughs> like yeah he's all he's all like yeah man you know Evan the Civ right I definitely want to go like down there like the Texas and like compete the same way he's going at and like and both of those go like, both of those guys like grind is just like really admirable oh, like, yeah. when Evan cut all that weight in while I was living with him yeah yeah I mean like that was, was nuts like? dude oh it was not well he was grumpy all the time love you I bet he was grumpy <laughs> I would be grumpy too he was I mean like borderline starving like that's the Bro. thing is that's a, actually a conversation I was having my, with my sister because she was like that's an eating disorder and I was like I don't think so because he, he, he had it under control he had it under control and like there's a difference between like starving your like he was doing it for a competition he could easily flip it like this as soon as the competition got canceled oh man he was eating. he was I eating anything and everything and it was like I don't know I think I think it's like a will thing like I think it's like you and that's can, impressive but I mean I also think it's different once again kind of male privilege it's different for girls and guys yeah totally yeah. different for I mean it's hard it's honestly just like hard that. it's just hard to lose weight as a girl too mm-hmm. like, because I your mean, body is literally trained to hold on to fat oh totally like, I estrogen mean, or yeah. some shit I, I mean like science I think it's, it's something to do with, like with like the fact that like you're gonna take care of a kid and they're gonna need to feast on your fat as well yeah. but I mean like it's just like also we have more testosterone and I think like it has something to do with like how we burn fat and the fact that we yeah. can burn fat and put on muscle a lot Science, easier. bro. Science. Science. Um, but like, yeah, that's just all kind of different. Evan's grind with that, like that was inspiring though. Cause like I, I had just began to get into like intermittent fasting and like time restricted eating. And then Evan would just like, like showed me his plan. I'm like, bro, how are you committed to this? <laughs> like, bro, I, yeah, love, he's food. Kind of I love food that. too much dog. Like to like do what he's doing. And like he, sh- he, cut it so quick mm-hmm. yeah he lost a lot of weight like 10 really pounds quick. a week almost it looked like he was dropping like almost one like one to two pounds per day Jeez. and i was like you are a psychopath bro i don't know how like like to this day but i mean like it's and that's just how like quarantine just like threw everything off for everyone well i think it's also different for us too because like i know my body type and i'm guessing yours i hold yeah. on to fat like i oh, can't I, yeah. I, if i if i cut the way he did i'd have to starve myself more than he did I think so too. That's, I mean, I'm doing 20 hour fast on a weekly basis, mm-hmm. and like I'm still only like maybe averaging five pounds a week, if that. I need. I, um, I honestly kind of want to start doing. Like, bro, I, if you download that zero app right there, and like that's yeah, like it's so Probably. good because like it it's something satisfying about like closing the ring, and like because like it has like a timer ring saying like how long you've been fasting, and if I okay. if like I'm just like what did it go up? Oh, the battery's almost out. No, that's fine. Oh. Oh, What's I that? think this one. Well, yours is still running, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, mine ran out of space on the memory card. Damn, you already gone through all that? Yeah. I mean, we're almost done. Thirty-two gigs, bro. Thirty. Oh, okay, thirty-two. Yeah. I think that's the one that I'm on. That's I think right. it's like. A, I have another memory card I can whip in here real quick. It's all right. But I mean, this. I mean, this camera. Yeah, yeah, we got extra. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice close up. Those, those here, other those shots, yeah. Though. But nah, like I mean, like it's it's just madness, bro. Like I mean. How quarantine just like totally. You know what? Screw it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> this camera. <laughs> like, like it's just like um. Yes. We got some good footage. That's fine. Yeah. Like, at least this this we... one. This yeah, will be like, easier now... for editing. Now I don't have to keep switching back and forth. <laughs> but like, but like, <sighs> it's just like throwing everything off for me. Like I mean, like routine. Just like I was just like almost getting into like a steady routine of the working out and dieting at the same time, and like, Corona just came and just like totally obliterated yeah my like my routine and that just shows like as you were saying those habits like that's everything that's mm-hmm. the reason why you'll be successful in anything yeah no i mean i, I kind of swing back to the habits thing like you just have to like if you want like i, I read a book have you read the slight edge by jeff olson i think that's the one that like did you put evan on yep i put I evan on evan's i bought trying, that for his birthday yeah i think evan's trying to put me on to that too like no like, dude, it is a for anybody listening to this who like is kind of stuck anywhere and just needs like a little kick in the ass um the slight edge by jeff olson is a phenomenal book it was recommended by uh, an entrepreneur robbie Abu, Abu Bala. shout out he is a phenomenal or technically his name's Ruby. um he this book is it, it just really breaks down like 
I think everybody, I mean, especially nowadays with social media, everybody mm-hmm. just thinks, like, it happens. You know, like, like you, happens you just all of a sudden yeah. blow up and you're yeah. this, like, this Your life changes huge, forever. Yeah. Exactly. When in reality, it all comes down to consistency and in the book what they call small daily, dis- simple daily disciplines. So there are little things that you can do every day to exponentially increase your, the quality of your life, whether that's in business, whether that's in school. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, studying 30 minutes a day rather than cramming in, you know, two hours before yeah. a test, if you do that 30 minutes a day um, rather than two hours just cramming, you're going to be a lot more effective if you do it in, like, the 30 minutes every yeah. single day. Or, like, you know, with a business, if you're doing outreach for 30 minutes a day, um, you're going to be way more likely to, number one, keep doing it. Number yeah. two, it's going to be a lot more effective if you're doing it, like, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, rather than, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do this for four hours. Because, I mean, think of it. Like, if you were starting working out mm-hmm. and you went to the gym and you're like, I'm going to be here for four hours, like, whatever, the next day you're going to wake up, your body's going to hate you, <laughs> you're going to feel really shitty, and you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to do that again. Exactly. Versus if you just went to the gym, 30 minutes, 15-minute cardio, 15-minute lift, you, yeah. you're gonna like the next day yeah you'll maybe be a little sore a little tired but you're gonna feel accomplished more than anything again, yeah. you can do it again and you can keep doing it and if you know like like uh those theme accounts the reason yeah. like that that daily TikTok, yeah those daily it took 500 posts on that so i have like theme accounts that i post tiktoks on just because like it's honestly kind of fun and it's like fun little challenge i think those those having meme accounts like is a kind of a nice way for like some passive income um and it's super easy all i really do is post like two or three times every single day um but it took like 500 posts for my stuff to actually be popping off so that means i posted 500 posts that really didn't get me anywhere like didn't get that many views didn't get that many likes but like if you look at it now like some of my posts are getting on a six thousand follower account like hundreds of thousands of views that's consistency you know, I always thought, like, the tic- the TikTok accounts was, like, someone else. Mm-hmm. Like, totally. Because, like, you would, like, talk to them inside your own comments. Yeah. I like, was just, like, I just, like, oh, okay, this is cool. Like, this well, is, that's like, a way to grow. That is a great way to grow. Because mm-hmm. then you, like, check it out. Because, like, I checked it out. And I was, like, oh, that's cool. It's, like, a TikTok account. And, like, I think other people with TikToks were on there, too. Were they? Or was it just yours? Um, it's other people. So, on TikToks, yeah. so, uh, you're giving away one of my accounts, but I, obviously, <laughs> if, you're, if you've listened this far in the podcast, yeah, just, you... I like to keep it low-key because I plan on monetizing, doing, like, a faceless monetization on that account um, through YouTube, so, like, I kind of want to keep it low-key that it's mine. A faceless um, monetization. Yeah. Also, like, low-key, somebody can really, like, replicate what I'm doing super easily. <laughs> like... It'll take time, though. It'll, It'll take, take time oh, 100%. Effort. That's yeah. the one thing. And not like, everybody's if, trying to do that. Oh, yeah. Well, again, like, that's a really common thing is for meme accounts just to steal other people's memes. And, like, yeah. I guess I'm stealing other people's TikToks, but I usually give... Like, I always find them on my own, and I give people credit. Credit, yeah. Um, but, uh, like... Wait, what, what was... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's one of... The, I just post, like, other people's TikToks. I give them credit, so it's, like, kind of a shout-out for them or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where, like, you can't just start one and, like, be successful right off the bat. Like, that's yeah. one thing that you have to, like, really build Put up. Put in work for mm-hmm. that, yeah. No, that's good. I mean, like, I... I tried that with Reddit one time because, like, like even, like, in Black People Twitter, I'm like, they're just reposting people's Twitters. Yep. So, like, I, yeah. like, I just, like, like, got, like... Some Caribbean themed stuff from Caribbean Twitter and like started post there. Yeah. And just free karma. Just like so much karma. Like exponential thousands of upvotes. And I'm just like, why wasn't I doing this? But then I kinda like fell off with it because like it's hard to maintain that. Like yep. I mean like No, it to- is. There's times when I have to take like post breaks because I'm just so like burnt out. But like now I have like a thing in my in the back of my head that's like cause cause it's it's one thing too. You just have to do it long enough to start seeing success, right? Because then it's addicting. Like that's yeah. that's the thing. Like that's a dopamine it, trap. I have no doubt in my mind that you're gonna go right back to working out every single day when you can, yeah. because you've seen what it does. Like I look look at pictures of me when I didn't lift, and I'm like, yeah. I never wanted. That's that the again. motivation right there. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, like, we've been here before. Like we know what it we know what it feels like. We know what it looks. Yeah, like. same thing with these theme accounts. Like even if I have to take like a couple days break from posting, I'm like, I have to get back to this because like. I've seen success. I know this works now. I just need to like, it's, it's, it's a matter of if I'm posting two times every single day on these accounts, you know, you saw, I went from gaming. And you're resilient with it because your accounts were shut down. Like, yeah, (laughs) like what? Like twice, right? Mm -hmm. So I actually just got back to my tick to posting TikToks. Um, I was just really discouraged for a while because I was like, I I probably would never been able to get back at it because like you had like 
like what, what I had ten thousand on the first one, ten almost eleven thousand, and I had over three thousand on the second one. No man, so I can I was like, I'd be like so I'd be like so hurt. I'd be like, man, I can never do that again. I was but you got right back on it. This uh, you're kind of at the edge of the frame. Oh damn! Just really? Moving it over. There you go. There you go. Gotta gotta get the pretty face. <laughs> no, no, it's not my face in the view. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, but like it was like when I saw that, I was like, bro, like how do you get back like from that? And like you like almost like brushed it off. I was like it's cool. It's cool. I could do it again. I could do it again. I'm like. Well, like, I did. It was, yeah, you did. Like, I was just like, I was like, bro, like, because I thought about it, and I was like, man, like, if I had to start YouTube over right now, I don't know, like, you really have to love it. Like, you really have to love what you're doing, and, like, you really just have to be, like, really resilient. Yeah, and I think that's, like, inspiration in itself is, like, um, you know, I kind of enjoy the challenge of, like, thinking of something funny and, you know, trying to entertain somebody. So, like, you know, the first account that got banned, I was upset for, like, five minutes. I was like, what the fuck? Like, uh... And then I, I just kind of sat there, and I was like, all right, you know what? It's not like I just got famous off of one video. I have multiple true. of my videos popped off. Multiple of more of them should have popped off and were, like, good pieces of content. I was like, I just need to keep doing what I was doing before. And yeah. lo and behold, like, probably... It took me probably, like, 20 videos to pop off again. Now it's taking a little bit longer too. I think TikTok's made their algorithm a little bit harder, but it's just like really? if I just keep doing that. If I keep poking at it, like yeah. you know, when I'm when I'm back home, I can focus like oh yeah, like two posts every day. It's really not that hard. I I did I like I like TikTok idea wise. I just don't know if I could do like a two front war. Like I mean, like to do like YouTube and TikTok, even to do like Instagram and YouTube. Like mm -hmm. I I know you have to like you should invest in doing social media on top of like something you should be like investing in more than just like a YouTube account. Mm -hmm. So like I know like yeah. like doing like an Instagram account like building up a following outside of YouTube is also like healthy. But man, to like post like almost weekly on Instagram was hard for me. Let alone TikTok. I was just like man, I, I know like I can't do it like sustainably. So like it was a matter like even with this reels thing, like when you showed me the reels thing, I'm all like, okay, maybe, you know, I could like even try like investigating like investing in the reels mm -hmm. because especially with that being like a new service right now they're like you say pushing it up to the forefront yeah and oh yeah if you're listening this and you're it. not i don't know when this is coming out but as of august what's the date today 13th 14th, 13th, 14th august, august something, -ish. something -ish. <laughs> oh it's the 13th it's the 13th <laughs> um uh, as of like August thirteenth, like if you're not using Reels, you're missing out. Like my yeah. my accounts have been blowing up on Reels, um, free free engagement from Instagram because they want people using it. They're gonna push the hell out of those. Yeah. So, which reminds me, I gotta post today. Because <laughs> I'm posting on my personal too. I've been seeing like I haven't been getting a ton of likes on Reels, but once again, a lot of views. Yeah. Yeah. So good way it's to get going. your content seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, oh, here's what I have to say about that because so for me, right, like. My TikTok content can be moved over to my Instagram. Especially now that they added reels, I'm like, dope. Like, I can just <laughs> post my reels. Like, this is great. Um, I, I mean, a lot of it comes down to what you prioritize. Because, yeah, it's hard to do. Yeah. It's hard to do both Instagram and YouTube, but it's not impossible. There yeah, are people totally. And, and here's the thing, too, that I tell people is, like, there's such a, there's like a, there's like a facade of, like, how... Instagram should be especially in a college town right like like everybody in a college town is expected like you have to pretty post pictures, pretty pictures yeah. at the bars with your friends like yeah. you know that that picture of you like showing off incredible, your butt with your sorority sisters like <laughs> incredible like, um lifestyle like, yeah uh, the, the highlights and I'm like probably the best most freeing thing for me was when I started posting my TikToks because I was like this is me bro yeah. like f screw the pictures yeah. of me at the bars or the pictures of like me and my friends, like, this is me. Yeah. This degenerate making jokes about <laughs> eating his dog. Like, that is me, bro. And so, like, that was just so freeing. And, like, so now, you know, you what you, like, you post really nice photos of yourself. And, yeah. like, whatever. I want to get to, like, doing, like, bro, like more. Post your music stuff. Like, that would be a good post, idea. and, like, and, uh, like I said, I mean, for you, I mean, yeah, your videos take a lot longer to make than, like, mine do. Bro, but, I want to start, like, making, like, taking less time with it because, I mean, like, even, like, doing, like, daily uploads, I mean, there's not too much as far as, like, how it deals in the algorithm, but, like, I think it'll just be a lot more fun. Like, I mean, like, of course, like, I'd want to do a vlog, but at the same time, like, 
just being stuck into different niches and trying to figure out which one works and doing that in an oversaturated like market because yeah. there's so many people like what's the stat for like how much minutes uh how, how many minutes are being uploaded onto youtube on a daily basis oh it's insane on it's like millions basis. yeah it's millions yeah. It's, it's there's a ton of youtube content being pushed out, especially like podcasts now like being more popular oh yeah, yeah, yeah i mean even with joe rogan like coming off of the platform and now going to spotify like totally it's gonna yeah. be interesting that's gonna be really yep. cool no that's gonna be really dope i uh yeah like i mean that's one of the reasons i want to start my podcast again is like and and uh, I don't know like daily uploads because coming from someone who did daily uploads, it's, it was easier for me to do it because I was gaming and like the style of my video was like I could just play my games and talk while I played and like that's something you can do every day. But like yeah. with your type of videos that you make, that's not really something you can do every day. You yeah, know? Especially like finding a topic that's actually like interesting to talk about for my target audience in my style, mm -hmm. like that's gonna be current at the same time because like I can't like post it like too late because then. The volume is up. Well, like I said, too, um, I mean, same thing goes with what I've talked to you about with TikTok and yeah. YouTube is go find someone who's doing, go find people who are doing what you want to be doing and just copy them. Like, yeah. like and, and, and the thing is, too, like, you copy them, but then you come up with your own ideas. Yeah, making um, I'm a new thing. I'm going to start and restart this. Man, we've been going for a while, too. Oh, you're Oh, yeah, my shit's about to die. Oh, yeah. And Sapphire's already, like, texted me, like, a couple oh, times. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, like, end this Yeah, off like, then. let's, like, um, like, get it, like, on a... Because we, we also so have this, too. Like, we... <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true, huh? How long yeah. has it been going? Can you see how long it can record? Yeah, let me see. Uh, well, then I'll have to stop it, but it's oh, still okay. recording right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I usually end it off by, like, talking about, like, oh, like, what's one thing that you would recommend to... Uh, like, what's one thing, like, you would tell, you know, a listener who okay. wants to start in YouTube or in music Man. production? And I'm saying, start? like, for all these different lanes, um, for music, like, right now, uh, definitely... And I, this is going to be controversial, but just don't be another rapper. Like, like the world has enough rappers. Um, and if you want to, like, do something that is sustainable or if you ever want to make money from it, you definitely want to get away from just being an artist and, like, focusing on production mm -hmm. in some way. I mean, like, definitely follow your dreams as far as, like, if you want to do... Like, if, you're a ra if you are a rapper and you're... Also be a writer. Also, like, get your writing for different people. Yeah. Um, like, find a way how to, like, diversify your art form. Because, honestly, like, making music for different... Oh, no. uh, yeah, that's <laughs> out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, this talking, is still... We'll yeah, this I'll, is still recording. I'll, I'll, uh, I mean, for the podcast part, like, this is still going. Like, mm -hmm. the audio is still going. It'll save that, like, automatically on your card, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's already gone. Just keep talking. So yeah, doing that part and also like for the YouTube thing, start now. Do not delay. And also, why did it turn back on if it's dead? Did it turn back on? That's oh, so it's not recording though. Oh, <laughs> like it gives you like a sweet spot of it. And then, yeah, but you know, um, don't delay when it comes to YouTube. Also, like Sarvi saying, like oh, consistency for it is the only way that's gonna work because like seeing so many people just fade off. On the platform after like <laughs> we have like wow okay. this is just so like this whole thing is just so messy <laughs> right now keep talking but no 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 um like consistency 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 because I've seen people come literally at the beginning of quarantine and like die in quarantine um so just keep on doing it and literally you'll see the consistency reward you and uh what else um as far as like school uh, don't Do you, are you glad you went to school? Uh, yeah, I think so. I like. I definitely think that it's a, a lot more sustainable. Like, I mean, like with, even with political science, which is like not as sustainable because it's really like a precursor for law school. I don't know many people just getting oh, like a yeah, bachelor's in that um, alone. But yeah, when it comes to like like school, definitely, you know, that like being like getting education, getting degrees, always worth it. Is it as worth it right now, like, when you see people making, like, oodles of cash without having to go to school? Eh, I don't know. But at the same time, like, what is indisputable is the fact that, like, if you have a degree, it will set you apart for people that don't. Yeah. Yeah. Even, like, if you, you know, in any case, or in any scenario. I mean, if your goal is to, like, get a job 
work, mm -hmm. you know, be comfortable in life. I mean, just getting a degree is so important. It just puts you ahead, like, yeah. in so many different cases. Am I a big fan of how expensive college is and the classes that you have to take that have nothing to do with what you actually want to do? Not a huge fan. Like, from my personal experience, you get a lot more experience just from actually doing things. Like, yeah. that's one thing. I was in the entrepreneurship program here for a while. Don't get me wrong. I think they have a I lot of... I didn't even know they had one. Yeah. They, uh, don't get me wrong. I think they have a lot of good, like, they have good pitch competitions and things like that, but... Um, in my opinion, it's 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 filled with a bunch of people who are just like love the fever dream of being an entrepreneur, but aren't like they just haven't like grown the balls to just like do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like go out there and do it. Doing yeah. it and doing it and and like wanting to do it, very different things. Very That's different true. things. And like I, I, the one thing I also didn't like is how the entrepreneurship program really like pushed kind of the traditional way was like, oh, you have to like come up with a business idea and then go and get a business loan yep. or go and like pitch a venture capitalist. And I was like, bro. I invested like 150 bucks in my first business and like it's made way more yeah. than that. Like, <laughs> like you know, and like I, I hate that they haven't taught that. Like I've always said if I taught an entrepreneur class, I would go up there and I'd be like, yeah, so like 60% of your grade is you have to make $1,000 doing something by the end of the semester. Like I don't care what it That's is. That's a great idea. As long as it's not That's illegal, but idea. like go, <laughs> go and get your bag and then prove that you did and like do a presentation on it and tell, tell us like what you learned, if you how much money you made, how much you didn't, like whatever because that that's i think putting idea. people in that situation where like how the hell do i make money that's what's gonna make you money that's a good even idea. if like even if they failed it like that would be way more more valuable than sitting there what's an llc what's a sole proprietorship oh i was like God. screw you like i know what that is but <laughs> hell yeah I, mean, I appreciate you coming my brother, on this man if really y'all have not even seen oh, like give your Sarby, shout you know well i mean like sorry like like even the first video that like sorry did with me is still like one of my favorite videos and like yeah it, like just even the backstory behind that and like the audio issues and everything so I'll sorry link it. So i think sorry. you can link it in like the description yeah like that would, if you want to see like sorry in like the raw like like doing his thing you could definitely see it there <laughs> apart from his tiktoks and everything like that but yeah y'all keep blessed stay tuned um if y'all want to give your social media oh yeah out. yeah um for man on a foreign land on everything uh shoot youtube ig and that's really all that I'm at right now. So <laughs> TikTok, all want, maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. Maybe TikTok. Definitely gonna get on my reels after talking to Sarbs. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's seriously as easy as just making TikToks and then reposting them. That's all I've been doing. Bro, you gotta find. Yeah, I definitely gotta go and try to find a way to go and make some reels. <laughs> after seeing like how Sarbi was able to go and pull it off like that. But anyway, you all stay tuned and stay blessed. Yeah, thanks guys for listening, and I guess I'll be back next week.